Welcome back to the Reggie's Podcast. You're here with three blokes who could have been fucking anything but decided to have fun instead. Uh, Boys, uh, cheers me. Winners piss. Winners piss. Let's go. Oh, mm. How fucking good does it taste? It tastes fucking good. It, it tastes that. good. Uh, it also tastes shit because it's Tuesday and that was a massive weekend. Do you know what? It doesn't even taste shit. It ta- I've been on one of the biggest Larry's that I've had in a fucking long time, and that still tastes that good, mm. cunt. I've had uh, a few warm-ups <laughs> because mm. I just wanted to be nice and primed for this episode. Well, you did say that you were going to show up on Tuesday, the week after the fight, and, and get, get a taxi drunk. home. Fuck, and, and that's blind. exactly what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> well, you deserve word. it, mate. I was Fuck meant to go yeah. to the pub before this, drove in half an hour from where I live to the studio, got to the street of the studio and went, Fuck. Left all the fucking cameras at home. Mm. So drove half an hour back, half an hour back in, hour and a half driving for nothing. Just so nice. all ears could watch it on <laughs> yeah. fucking YouTube. Just in That's case right. we get some fucking ripper clips. <laughs> There's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, what a fucking – like, obviously, we, we'll recap a little bit of sport later, but – we got to recap what I think was the biggest weekend the cra- of our one lives. of the craziest weekends of all time yeah. for us. So I reckon nice. for yourself, Tom, mm. you might have had that the feeling that me and Jace had on the weekend, maybe once or twice, but just with the amount of people, I mean, yeah, yeah. But I fucking felt like a f- rock star for twenty four hours. Oh, I like, felt like Mayweather or Canelo <laughs> or something after a fight in Vegas. Oh. Not, not to not to that level, man. That was crazy. That was wild. That was insane. Like the amount of people. Mm. Because we decided to walk back to the casino. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, just the whole emotion of everything after. I just didn't want to wait. I wanted to go back to the room, have a proper shower. and Mm. Same. um, Start ripping and tearing. Get rid of all that, you know, whatever sweat. That I, you know, produced. You don't, you don't really gather <laughs> much in one room. Show, yeah. um, but no, nah, I wanted to go back just and just be with the missus and yeah. Nico and like Meg was there and just be with them for a bit. And the walk back, just it all started there. Everyone's yep. fucking shaking me hand, coming up, patting me on the back and this and that. And I'm just like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. Mm. <laughs> and then, yeah, by the time we'd gone up, I got changed, went back down to the um, the main area. It was just that for three or four hours. Mate, there was this video of everyone waiting to get into the after party and it was, they were going, hey, hey, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, like the whole hallways of that, that yeah. ballroom, the casino was full. Yeah. Like shoulder to shoulder. And yeah. it's a pretty crazy thing to see. And every cunt said have a good time. Yeah. And not one drama. Just. That's right. Mate. Everyone was fucking Fucking mates. insane. Like no as in. Who it was, eh? Everyone was getting along. Mm. Such a fucking good night. Yeah. Unreal night. Uh, the two weeks before it can fuck right off because Mate. I – now, this is hard to explain to people because I was so confident and so uh, – what's the word? I was like I knew how much effort I'd put in mm. and I knew where my skill level was. You had no self-doubt. And I didn't have one bit of doubt that I was going to do it, but – I had crippling anxiety for two oh, weeks. Yes. Just the fear of going, I've got one crack at this. Yeah. I've, and, like, obviously all all the shit you read online as well, all the negative stuff doesn't help, but you no. see it and it, you expect it because there's two sides. Oh, mate, one and you've got to wants, expect the boys to, to back their guy too. That's right. Yeah, right. One side wants to see this win. One side wants mm. to see that win. Um, few Reggie's just... Lipping off for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Feeding your shit just cause. And they're in, uh, they're in the under. In my notes here, it says doubters. Yeah, doubters, and there's a list of. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But and and I'm just going fuck. I've got one crack here. Everyone's, you know, the story of me never winning a fight. Yeah, like yeah. if I just oh, if I go out and fail, like I'm just going to well, hear thing, so mate, that's much why noise. I <laughs> I, it took every ounce of me because you're like, don't you fucking like give them anything away with training? I despair you for fucking three months, flat yeah. out all the time, and knew exactly what was going to happen, <laughs> but had to fucking carry on like I didn't. Oh. Mate, it was uh, it was excellent. That man, yeah. I had I was exactly the same. That's what we were talking about the most, like the amount of head noise and fucking anxiety leading up. 
Oh, it's that webbing in my fucking finger split open two weeks before, so I couldn't use that right hand. And then done me fucking inflamed my rib cartilage a week out and kept mm. that fucking proper quiet and was just freaking out rehabbing yeah. that. Lucky it sort of was the best it's been the day of and d- like didn't mention it at all any interviews or anything because who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. The thing out, is with every- that. <clears throat> pre-fight anxiety as well and anxiety is sometimes you just don't know why the fuck you're anxious this yeah, cunt was, was like, microdosing shrooms <laughs> yeah i don't know if you're allowed to say that but <laughs> i yeah i was yeah. Proper. I, I was like cunt this is getting next level i need something to chill me the yeah. fuck out <laughs> and all it did for me was just wind down the anxiety a bit and that's yeah. what i need the, bi- the okay. biggest thing for me is is like the whole time we just had a game plan for Klutzy, like he was such a big cunt, and it was just like, you know, to the body, like score points to the body, Joe mm. up top, get to the body, get to the body, just accumulate points. But the anxiety for me was I worked so fucking hard for this and sacrificed so much, knowing that he only needed to land one. I'm like, mm. like that whole thing for me is like I at least want to show that I've done a good job for two and a half rounds if he does yeah. land one. I'm yeah, going, yeah, if he lands yeah, yeah. one straight up and I'm like, wow, cunt. That was for that. Nothing. Yeah, I know. So, you know, there was so much into it. But. I've actually mentioned that a few times in the past couple of days, how um, oh, I've, I've spoken to Jarch, like a couple of texts. We yeah. exchanged a couple of texts. He's all sweet. Yeah. Obviously, he's got a heap of mates <laughs> and family and all yeah, that. Yeah, it's all yeah. good. But I've said, like, if the I don't know how – I don't know what sort of training he put in or mm. how much effort or what he sacrificed or anything, but I said if that happened to me, I would be – just knowing what I did, mm. six days a week, flat out, oh. fucking gave up heaps. If that happened to me, I would be mentally just fucked. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's he's fine, I think. Like, Mate, it's all credit good. to that bloke for put the reel that night he put up. Yeah. Highlighting him, him just like, can't, it just knocked. shows the character of the bloke. Yeah. Like, lipping yeah. up beforehand, but just copping it. And that's what you got to do, eh? Yeah. I think that was everyone's plan. If you're going to lose an event like this, it was like... You're just going to have to take your licks and fucking laugh mm. about yeah. it. Yeah, and, and that's the biggest thing before any sort of <clears throat> carry on or joking and that goes. Any cunt who got in there and had to go in front oh. of that many cunts who oh. haven't fought yep. before, like, just good on the cunts. Especially, no one deserves to cop any shit at all. That's right. And no one is boxers. There was no, like, fair weight <laughs> sizing difference. You had <laughs> yeah. 55 kilos between you and Clark. So <laughs> it like, wasn't like 55. 50. Was it? it was 50. Was it? it was 50. <laughs> He yeah. was 135 kilo and I was 85. That's what I mean. And everyone still just went, oh, well, who gives a fuck? Let's just jump in. Like, credit to mm. every single one yeah, of those oh, cunts that got in the ring. Especially your opponent. Yeah. Jace. Yeah, I can't like, fucking thank you enough. That oh, mate, an awesome Darce, night, and man. that's what I mean by, like, credit to him, man. Darce, that doesn't have, like, an aggressive bone in his body. It's not like he plays contact sport or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Mate, for, for a bloke like that to just fucking have the balls to get in there. Why and did have he a swing. agree to that? Just because he, mate, he goes, I didn't want to be the only cunt that said no. Oh, like, yeah. I just wanted to have a fucking, oh, Buster Kirby. Uh, have a crack. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he, he fucking had a crack. <laughs> and it, the reason that all of those matchups started, especially us three boys, was Knuckles calling mm. fucking middle yeah, of last year. Yeah, but it all started because of these. <clears throat> all started because of him. He ignited the spark. Button. Quinn the chin. Quinn the We're fucking chin. Fucking introduce it, Quinn the chin. Quinn the fucking chin. <laughs> now let's get to. Introduce oh. yourself, Kick cunt. <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate, now everyone's like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I just watched that for three months straight at Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Because he used to shit me and I used to stiff jab the fuck out of him and oh. he just kept coming forward. Yep. Grabber would go, Quinn, keep your left hand up. Smack fuck out of him. And he just wouldn't and just kept marching forward. <laughs> He'd always throw this jab and then put his left hand straight back next to his hip and then you'd just pump him with a right <laughs> and he'd just eat it and fucking you go, hey, mate, keep your left hand up. And he'd do the exact same thing yeah. over and over. But that's what we said to him the whole time. And after a while, you just kept feeding him and just stopped telling him to Remember keep Remember how many times up. did I say to you, I'm like, Tom, if Quinn fucking walks forward at me today, I'm going to fucking hit him that many times. And you did. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he should be the one trying to get away from me, yeah. not walk at yeah. me. <laughs> that's and what, every day he'd walk at me. But, and that's can't what, do nothing else but to walk motherfuckers down. And that's why down. only us and our trainers out on the fucking beach of flats, oh, oh, the flats. Knew, flats knew the work that we all put in and it fucking come off. Oi. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's. 
Finish Queen the Chins for mm. fight first. Oh, well, first round, I'm thinking, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Dramas. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then you come out in the second. You won the second. Did he have a standing eight count in the second? Yes. Did, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, that's so, what won, all. so that's what won Quino the second. Because it was pretty close the second still. Yeah. Yes. But Quino's standing eight got him the second. So she's Does, won a piece. Do the people that were there and the people that watched, that was the rules. So yeah. we got told the rules because in a normal boxing fight, if you knock someone down or there's a standing eight count, it's an instant 10 points to eight round. Yeah. So it's a 10 eight round. But in a three round fight, it's impossible for the. If, say right. you get knocked down the first round, it's almost impossible to come back and win. Or That's it is. Right. Yeah. The, the rules them. were it's a. Yeah. If you get a standing eight count, like if you get that and they get a standing eight count, they like you win the round automatically. Yeah, like that's t- right. Ten, but it's say ten you nine. cop it's fucking ten nine. Ten nine, exactly. Yeah. There's Not no ten, ten eight. eight. Because you can't yeah. come back from a ten eight round really in, in a, a three, three round, round fight. fight. So the was... other thing they said too is it doesn't matter if you're the aggressor or if you're going back. All that matters is points landed. Yeah, so like, if yeah, no one gets knocked down, that's right. Landed, punches yeah. landed. So let's say you land twenty more punches in a round, but you get knocked down. You lose the round ten nine. Yeah. So it was ten nine ten nine. Ha- I'll happily say that. Most yeah. won the first. Fucking oath. You Fucking won the second. Did. All going into the third, yeah, and bro, then it was right just at perfect. the fucking end, you got the stand like you've the hit standing him. Eight. Yeah. And I went, he has got this. He's won. Yeah. If he doesn't get according a to the eight rules, yet. he has won yeah. this fight. Yeah, and fucking oath, you deserve I, it, mate. They had the big screen in the back, like our warm up area, getting ready. I'm standing there, just pacing around, waiting for my fight, watching this cunt just going at it. I'm trying mate. to stay locked in, but I was oh, just like, the ticker. holy I fuck! I was standing out there behind the like in front of the screen, sort of thing, out watching it like live happening. I was that when. The third round when he got the standing eight count, I went, he's fucking done Same. this. Same. I was yeah, he just stands up. If he like just stays won. on his feet, doesn't get the eight count, he's done it. Yeah. And then the bell rang and went, he's fucking done if it. That, he's done it. That there, that fucking fight set the whole night <laughs> oh, up. Set perfect. the whole that, night that perfect fa- first that fight. That was my favourite. Like, that was fight of the night for me. How just, was just the, overall. How was the – because I was a bit off the whole booing of – Moose and so was I. I was yep. a bit off that, yeah. but I mean, they didn't. Me- they didn't mean it in a we hate you way. Yeah. It was more just a, like We're they wanted to see Queen you way. win. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's all good. They don't hate Moose. No, <laughs> they, was just they just wanted you to large win. majority right. fan base. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, how was that? But walking out with all those fucking people just roaring. Yeah, for you. that was <laughs> fucking mental. That was probably the only time like up on that stage where I was like, okay, a bit nervous. Yeah. But when I was in the corner with Reese and Street, I was like, I'm feeling okay. Like, I'm not that nervous at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, because I can just walk forward and take you. <laughs> <laughs> Because I can just walk with my fucking hands down <laughs> and cop them. I just love the commentary, man. Like the boys, when it first got said, quit the tune. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking into it. Shout out to Hello Sports episode yesterday oh. as you're listening to this. Just fucking yeah, we had to get a hot, you drawer. We had to get a jigsaw and cut a fucking bigger hole in the door for the fucking G1 to slide We had through. to rip it off its fucking hinges to let him get through. What about Jace? They suck Jace off too. Yeah, yeah. But you're a big hot stallion, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Quino, mate, that that was just a oh, perfect way to kick it off, and great. it just shows you that that's what the whole night was about. It wasn't about skilled boxing; mm. it, it was just about cunts getting in there and, and just swinging, uh, having yeah. a crack. That's right, having a fucking that Pedro fight, swing. Yeah, <laughs> that fight like epitomised the whole fucking night. I yeah, yeah. it's a perfect way yep. to kick things off, and it had meaning to it. That's the whole way the event got started. Yeah, yep. That's and right. like we said, compared to every other boxing event. There would have been probably twenty people in the stands for the first fight. That joint was fucking pumping, man. Full cunt. They couldn't have to gotten the there any fucking earlier. I reckon. Yeah. At three o'clock. Yeah. Steam and you walked in. out. I could see it almost packed already, and I was like, "Wow, these yeah. guys are not missing a beat." Yeah. Fucking oath, man. So That's that was a great crazy. way to kick things off, mate. And then Jace, you were straight after it. No, oh. actually, I didn't think about that. Eh, the fact that I was out there watching it. Not real that much pressure on me yet because I was way later in the card and I got to actually enjoy watching it. But mm. you would have been like, yeah, ready nah, to straight, fucking go I was jealous after. of him, Jace, because he had the fucking ideal spot for me. I was very happy with my spot. It was you got just, to take the sting out of it yep. with Quinno. He got to sort of – everyone was up and about. and mm. like Quinn broke okay, the ice. So this is what it's going to be like yep. and then you went out. I went out and the main thing I was thinking was – 
I get to fight and then start smashing tins yeah. and watch you boys yeah, yeah, with yeah, a yeah. little less like pressure. But mm. I was stoked with my time slot. It was perfect. How was it feeling? I bet you were stoked with your performance. <laughs> that was, yeah, easily the best fucking feeling. Like one of the most euphoric feelings of my life. Yeah. Being in that hotel room two or three hours before oh. was the most nerve wracking I've probably ever been. But when I got to the actual fight and I'm sitting there waiting to walk out and the walk out and everything, I felt so such fucking focus yeah. like I've never felt before. Oh, I can definitely Like I tried to, to like soak in the crowd as much as I could, but it was just tunnel vision. I couldn't really yeah. hear a thing. And it was just, I felt amazing going into that. And then like that, literally, I'm not even like putting shit saying like, oh, I was that quick to fucking win and that. But yeah. it just, I blinked. And the fight was done. Yeah, and I was Mate, just in the in the sparring that in preparation. I said it for like between us the whole time. Mm. You've always had a really nice straight set of punches, mm. and I had to adapt how I sparred just so I didn't fucking eat them as well oh. later on. And I just thought if Das doesn't have really good head movement, you're gonna just eat him with real straight hard punches, and that's well, that's you know. what I that was my game plan, and that's mm. what I stuck to. Mm. And I I've watched the fight back a million times, and yeah. have yeah. Yeah, that first. I haven't watched mine yet. Oh, fuck. that first stand no, and eight that I got hey. on. You still haven't watched it back? No, I've watched the knockout a thousand times, yeah. but I haven't watched the fucking fight. <laughs> I couldn't help it. As soon after mm. the fight, as soon as I saw, it, I, was, I watched it back a fair few times. Mainly mm. just the like after the stand and eight. So I got in the stand and eight first, and I landed a few good jabs, and I was happy with my movement and that. And he threw a few, and I feel like I evaded him. But you talk about like the adrenaline and just the everything going out the window and just going for fucking mm. blood <laughs> was after that standing eight. It looks I'm not even that happy with how I got that fucking knockout because I just came out swinging. <laughs> <for him. laughs> Reese and Nico it. were like, "Oi, fucking march him down now! You've got him rattled." So I just, just sent the red into battle, swinging, yeah. and then I didn't even realize like I saw him do the wave to stop, but I was like. Is the fight done? Like, what the fuck's going on here? What oh, do I do? Oh, fuck off. It didn't take you long to jump up on was, the ropes. Yeah, as soon as I realised, I was like, <laughs> right, I just got up on the ropes, and that was one of the best feelings. Oh. Just have it fucking Mate, done and couldn't have gone any better the, than myself. If we can get a still shot of you when you uh, had to face off and the refs going over mm. the rules, that's probably... The moment where I'm thinking, I reckon Das is going, I've fucked up here. <laughs> but just because of like what he had on, what was going on with the attire, you the had to look. I, I, and mate, like, like the boys said in the commentating as well, you want to head, wear headgear. It's not the sport that you chose to do. Protect no, the no, brain no. and all that. But I, the singlet for me, I'm like, what's going on with singlets? No, the hunt. Yeah. I'm not saying anything about. But I'm like, I'm looking at you, <laughs> yeah. and I'm looking at him, and I'm going, okay, this is fucking <laughs> not going to end well. <laughs> that, uh, <I've>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> I mean about how focused I'm locked in. I fucking felt. I didn't even think. Oh, I thought I was going to be way more nervous than that. But in the ring, I was just like. Yeah, but right you, his nerves would have taken mm. your nerves, I reckon. Because that's yeah. what I reckon. We'll get to mine later, but I reckon I fucking knew that he was. Just yeah, was I don't want to. Sh- don't not even shitting, but he was <clears throat> nervous as fuck, and I'm like, oh, I thought he'd be way more. Calm. I feel you know shit I mean? if I say I don't want to talk bad about Darcy at all after the fight because fucking like we said, trip for getting in the ring. But I will say when I jumped in the ring and I had that focus, and I, as soon as I saw him in the ring, I locked eye contact. Mm. And I didn't see him look at me once, especially with the refs. It was just like staring into his soul. And I think at that point, that's when I was like, righto. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I'm more focused in this. Awesome. Yeah. Fucking unreal. Right. And then but, after you've done that, it was like, holy, we've just gone fucking well, two for two. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did not, a great I know I said, yeah, second round, like stoppage, I reckon I'll get. But I was fully expecting to go the distance. I yeah. think a lot of us were well, expecting I think you got to, be, like, no matter what you say with knockouts and that, you, you're always prepared that's right. to just I was be yeah, fully just, prepared to go six minutes with this cunt and – I don't. I think most of the like crowd that. was kind of expecting that to go the distance as well, especially after seeing these two iron chins go at it. <laughs> yeah. So to be to get that first knockout of the night, I think that's what kind of set the crowd off as well. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. really hear it at all during the event, but watching it back in the video, it was like holy to know that there was that many fucking people. Maybe you should have wore sixteens. <gasps> Maybe going back, <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I know I gave him shit about wearing the coward cap and the headgear, but that's fine. Nah, you can wear it. Lip, yeah. mate. But the lip. singlet is where I was like, 
Heaps get of people your, wore get your rig out. Yeah, yeah. why didn't the stuff? boys get their fucking get rigs fucking out? Clutzy the big cunt at his rig yeah. out. Yeah, everyone worked yeah. hard. Everyone got in fucking shape. I know. Show your kid off. I'm the pastiest white red <laughs> cunt ever, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. I am Have getting I this, this rig time. out. Just what quickly. is it? Have it this. That photo from BT is prime. Oh, man. that has got to be the cunt. <laughs> Look, if you yeah. don't get that framed <laughs> with your oh, shorts. that is excellent. If you don't get that framed with your For shorts. For people oh. listening, Big G1 is just up just staring the crowd and looks Was that like after the knockout or was that before physique. the fight? <laughs> no, this is fucking after. Yeah, that is. BT's underneath and I'm just, I don't even have my hands up. Nah, I've just got it by my side. staring in pretty much going, what were you cunts just chanting? I was, yep. Oh, that was where it was coming from too. Yeah. I oh, know. It was so good. It was beautiful. Anyway, um, enough about me. <laughs> but nah, Jace, it was a good performance, Can bro. we, um, really just good. before we move into the next one, Tom, <clears> the seven <throat> man fucking dumb... <laughs> Can't oh. believe that happened for it. Can we just fucking cast back, hmm. boys? Cast back three months to the first snig. <laughs> oh, the first the beach of flats. The first snig on the flats. This before, was fucking crazy. This is before the ring was built. Hmm. We had never square. ever <laughs> sparred before. This is back before I'd ever landed a punch on anyone. <laughs> We'd done minimal training, so we were not in good shape. And we fucking got a can of spray paint out, went to Larry's house, <laughs> painted a square on the fucking. It didn't do anything. On we the fucking turf. ran out the square about 10 times. All of us were out there. Bit of nervous energy, but there was no. I didn't have any anxiety because I didn't know what the fuck was about to happen. I uh, think none we of had us knew like, what was ahead of us. We had like. I just no. put the headgear on in that first because I'm like, I'm getting this out of the fucking way. Same, mm. same. So <laughs> uh, we we didn't even have our own gear or anything, like our own headgear yeah. or nothing. We were just using. I had a boil and bite mouth guard same. and some fucking <laughs> shitty wraps I bought for 10 bucks and I was like, well, what do we do here, boys? So <laughs> we're like, right, fuck this. Me and Tom just went, fuck this. We're getting in there, me and him straight away. Best mates for fucking 20 plus years. <laughs> you said that. You were like, yeah. wait, just before we punch on, just remember we've been mates for 20 plus years. All right, mm-hmm. no, so we get in there. First round, we're, we're <laughs> running around, like not running around, but we're both moving a fair bit, you know, throwing whatever. And I remember Nico telling me, like, just before I got in there, he goes, oi, like, try it, you know, there's a few little tricks and tricks of the trade, like go for a jab and then as you pull out of the jab, sort of like pull his hand down and then you, he's he's there for the right. <laughs> I did it about four times. Anyway, I've got Tommy with this absolute oh, perler. Fucking planted me right, right, on the the snot, right on the snot. And I went, I even remember going, oh, fuck, I've busted him. <laughs> and then... That round ended. He took it personally. It was all good. <laughs> a few other rounds happened. Uh, I, actually, I stayed in and you got in, Jay. So I yeah, was Yeah, I was fucked. second. This is when we had no cardio. <laughs> I didn't all. know what to do because it was like we jumped in and I was like right over. We were just holding our breath and swinging. Yeah, yeah he was, was so was a, fucking was gassed. I was in that so second round. fucked. You're standing there like this, just like oh, looking at me, and like we both weren't throwing anything. And I was just like, I think Reese or something was like, throw a fucking punch. And I was just like, <laughs> Right. I was trying to run away because <laughs> yeah. I couldn't move. Uh, anyway, we, me and Tom end up back in there <laughs> for, for our second And Tom round. had a vengeance. <laughs> I had this dumb way of defending where I almost did a fucking Ryan Garcia and turned my back. But I sort of put my elbow up in the air and pretty much painted a target and on just my just Abby pumped the cunt about four times. It was straight <laughs> at ribs. least three. Tom's was... pretty much grabbed me with his left around the neck and just <laughs> went bang, 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 bang in the ribs. And I went, oh, I can't finish the round. It was ra- a proper big, oh, like in the middle of the sparring zone. And off, we finished the round. I think I did another two rounds Mate, at some point. Larry got in with you, Jace. You fucking proper hit him with a few straights, busted his lip. So by that stage, Groper's ribs are fucked. My nose is bleeding claret everywhere. Larry's lip's fucked. I think Quino's topped an absolute hide. And yeah, big you. red bash. Oh, my yeah. you, you actually baptised his chin. Yeah. That, you got yeah, he did. taught this cunt everything he knows. Yeah. <laughs> so every just, cunt. But, like, we joked about it inside because we haven't shared any of this until now for a reason. We didn't want any cunt to know what we've been doing. Mm. 
But that will be something I'll never forget us dumb cunts oh. just flogging each other. Oi, but yeah. how's our fucking three illustrious trainers? They just sat back and laughed. Yeah. <laughs> and it tells the thing. We're like, boys, what are we yeah. doing? I used to figure it out. Oh, yeah. fuck me. And that, we needed that. But at the same time, I took – because this was a point where I was like, this is day day one pretty much. I'm yeah. fucking yep. – I'm committed from here. Yeah. We punched and on I've a bag gone, and fucking did some running prior. And I've gone, it. what the fuck? I've just proper busted – or you've just busted mm. me day one. So this is – I wouldn't – if I would have lost, I would not have mentioned this once, no. by the way. But because I've won the fight – Oh, I'm going to mention it. I yep. fucking ate painkillers for three weeks yeah. just so I could fucking train. Well, the next sparring session we did, you popped four neurofin before we jumped yeah, in. Yeah, I just ate them and went, right, this will get me through the hour of training. And then I'd go back and on the couch, couldn't fucking get out of bed without going, ah! <laughs> and just for three weeks, man, while they healed. And then once they healed, I was like, I'm absolutely stoked with my decision that I didn't just go, oh, well, my ribs are fucked. I'll have to rest. Yeah, yeah. Because I went, nah, fuck it. Push and through it, it a bit. Yeah, it put me in this position where I was three weeks ahead of where I probably should have been. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just going to you, cunts, don't you fucking say anything. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah, yeah. Don't you fucking yeah. say we anything. kept you very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah, that, that was oh. wild, though. But I think that's when we first saw that all of us, every one of us, had a bit of cunt. Well, that was, the, yeah. that was it, eh? Because no one was stepping back. Like, it was stupid as fuck. And I was thinking, this is dumb as fuck. But yep. I was just like, well, I'm not going to say no. I remember we text like a few text messages <laughs> after and we were like, oh, well, boys, if nothing else, the boys know we're going to have a fucking crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking, of, talking about our trainers. Because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there'd be nothing worse training blokes who are just like not really you know, right. into it. But they would have been like, oh, fuck well. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the boys are going to have a go anyway. <laughs> and that I think that was probably the most intense Fucking, I wouldn't even call it spar, and that was punching well, man, the that's, fuck. That was fighting. And, and that's yeah. the thing, <laughs> that was that's the thing that allowed me to be a bit calm, even like we'll get to mine and that going in there, is because that's pretty much what we did all the time is sparring. Because we yeah. went out to the ring that was built out there and, and uh, like did a few things, but sparring was a major part of it. And oh, yeah. going from that first session where, yeah, it was silly and that, but even by the end being so calm because it was just sparring and getting your breathing right. Yeah. And, yeah, a bit of it went out the window for me. Which we'll get to later, but like, um, just that yeah. was a big part for well, us. We I make think, the jokes about like so much. Quino being the fucking iron chin and that, but genuinely, <clears throat> the best way to prepare for a fight is knowing what it feels like to get fucking punched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You can do sure. all the pad work and fucking fitness training and that and one, but ring fitness and throwing at an actual human and being punched you by You feel like Muhammad Ali on the bag of the pads, man. Yeah, exactly right. It's fucked, As soon as you get in there, you're so frustrated. After you go, I did not even throw one other thing that I practiced for the week. <laughs> yep. You fuck it. <laughs> oh, can't, and the, can't like, say We I had a fucking feeling. great variety, all of us too, because I'm preparing for Darcy, who's fucking five foot nine, mm. five ten, ten kilos lighter than me, but I've got to go up against big long streak of who's six four. <laughs> but then I'd go in with Cam as well, who was fucking half my height. And it was like all the boys got to go against completely yeah. different styles of fighters. Yeah. yeah. And that's why Beach of Flats went far from fucking. And five. um I'm just gonna say this because fuck him. Uh there was only one person who got sat in the sparring, <laughs> and it was me sitting Cameron Lowry on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> a big top of the head. Yeah. He just fucking put his head, ducked his head, and, like, I didn't mean it, but I was just following through with the right, and he's ducked his head, and I mean, he was clean on top of the dome, <laughs> and he just sat straight on his ass. And I wasn't going to say it. I didn't think anything of it. And then that night in the group chat, hmm. Laz goes, Groper sat me on the ass today. <laughs> yeah, Tom, two minutes later, Tom Dahl calling. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that's one other time he ended up on the ground, but it was from him throwing the biggest haymaker I've ever seen in yeah. my life. And he kind of fell forward a bit. And he was Which like, oh, is also back up. how he fought. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the, that fucking blindfold. Quick recap. The, the blindfold, blindfold about was wild. They should have had headgear on. They should have fucking. There's been a lot of things that that was pretty wild. I've got to admit, out the back, being an owner of the company, I was very relieved no one was dead. 
uh, by that the end of it, and we positive. could move on. But I think the whole crowd was pretty entertaining. I think it was uh, fucking hilarious. MVP of that was Spider Man. Oh, Spidey, the dog. Yeah. Duke Spidey. What about when old mate was in the corner? <laughs> And he was the dude, like the mediator, and he was ducking and weaving yeah. because Spidey had him. Yeah, he was doing hand wraps out yeah, the back. Yeah, that he, did he was a legend. Yeah. <laughs> but, I noticed uh, that. Yeah, Spidey was the, pretty well the only one I saw swinging, swinging. at nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, he was just. He like, was hitting as well, but he was. <laughs> there was times where Fuck he was man. facing the other way yeah. to the crowd and just swinging, and it was, it was so funny. fucking funny to watch. I actually had the honor of zipping up his Spidey suit. We both went to do oh. a piss, and he. Everyone else was like laughing at me, but he looked fucking nervous. Was there any winners that. or losers? There? Oh, I think they give it to Spidey just out of like out know, of cause Spidey. He, cause he, yeah, because yeah, he's Spidey. Yeah. He had a duck, and he was swinging hard. Duke, Spidey. Oh, duck, yeah. Spidey. So that, that was good entertainment. Um, almost a man versus the Daily Blue News. So the tag team fight, bit of controversy here. Like the yes. Blue Boys did really well, um, but both the boys did well, like we said. But the, I think it was a pretty clear cut, like winner uh, by the end of it. Can I raise my hand and ask a question? Mm, you as mean. an as you just stated, as an owner of the company, mm. did you not foresee maybe putting the Daily Blue? That was the, a fuck up in the blue. That, that was a fuck up. Yeah, they thought no, that, 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 that was should, the whole point. That's why there was a fuck. That's why there was a fuck up. That was supposed to be, and I obviously wasn't <laughs> announcing or doing that. So whoever, whichever the messages got mixed up, that's how that's how that fuck up happened. But. Because, like, Jace, I think they had a thing on their Instagram called the Daily Blue. Yeah, the blue corner. The blue corner. In the blue they corner. Did. And then they were in the red. Mm. Yeah. So I, I didn't I <laughs> didn't really see that it was going to be a Queensland New South Wales thing until warming mm. up and I saw the singlets and I went, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fucking smart. Yeah. Perfect. I felt that corner. dumb because obviously I've heard partly what's happened from out the back on the screen. And then the fucking almost the man boys have walked in and I just went, Queensland! Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, sort of put their nah, hand nah. up and went, <clears throat> yeah, like thumbs up. I'm like, the fuck boys, G up. Yeah, and then, yeah. nah, we lost. I was like, oh. But at least it got resolved, you know. And that and that's the thing about like, and you could tell too, because like, like Danny Green and the boys are mm. pretty, like Danny Green's pretty honest, even given his opinion on the pay-per-view before yeah. the thing got announced. And then even they were saying, yeah, don't agree with that one. Yeah. And then obviously they went, well, what's going on? The crowd started chatting bullshit. Yeah, got yeah. In. that's what and I fucking heard. Got him in and changed the thing. It's all good. Like fucking yeah. the right thing happened. But, yeah, shout out to the boys. That was pretty entertaining. Yeah. Um, mate, little Gabe. Ah. Oh. He fucking, Trooper. he showed some serious nuts. In I there, told right? him yeah. after, I said, mate, I was shitting myself for you mm. just because of the difference in size and I knew them boys were going to have a go. Yeah. And all of them did mate, have a go. Held too. his yeah. fucking yeah. own and some. Yeah. And so, some. So good on all of them because I think it was pretty entertaining. Like, Fuck it was yeah. good. He would have had to. Was a fucking man mountain as well. <laughs> yeah, I didn't he know he was that big. Well, hey, chucked his singlet on, and I was just like, "Holy cunt!" It was like, "You big ginger cunt." That's kind of what yeah, I wanted to look you like going into this him. fight. Mm. <laughs> I'm lucky. Battle I of the didn't. gingers. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> they look good. They were good. <clears throat> Reach so. out, we'll make it happen. No, we no. won't. I will never <laughs> step in a ring a fucking again. <laughs> so, no, good on him. One and done. And the mate, honestly, I ended up getting on the piss of heat with the almost a man boys from up north. Yeah, so absolutely. Saw and them, everyone yeah. on the cards a fucking legend that I've yeah. bumped into Hell the whole work. time. But yeah, good on them for fucking both of them for having a crack. Um, then the big fella, Cam and Gibbo, oh, and next mate. Oh, These two, I reckon, had the same prep. Heaps yep. of piss. Yeah. He they showed piss. that in so, the press conference too. This was another one where I was like, got a bit of inside fucking knowledge here. Mm. I'm not – I obviously didn't – we couldn't have one bet at all. No. But, but like, did all of me prep with Cam and I yeah. was like, oh, you know, fuck knows what Gibbo's been doing, but I know what Cameron's been doing. Mm. <laughs> and uh, let's just say if Gibbo's been doing some bit of cardio, then, you know, Dutsky's going to fucking – Maybe find it a bit hard. You've got to remember too, Gibbo One. being forty. Was he forty two? I think I so. Yeah, like, yeah. like forty two, mate. That that plays a bit of a part. Yeah, as well, yeah, for know? sure. But anyway, like you said, same prep. It was just a couple of fucking pigs having a swing. swing. Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> was entertaining. Oh, you know, and it was like good. talking to Cam after he goes, "Yeah, bros." All went out the window. Like, as yeah. soon as it started, the boys were swinging. Oh. The first thirty seconds, I was like. <laughs> 
They're going to gas. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight away, though. Considering there was, what, Michael dislocated his shoulder three times, Judge dislocated his. When I watched Cam in the first 30 seconds throw the biggest haymaker <laughs> I've ever seen in my life, and I went, how is that cunt's shoulder not popped the fuck out? Yeah. yeah. It was huge. But, yeah. Well, it fucking was, good um, on him for the win. But Darcy's, like, exactly Darcy's didn't just fall out. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. no. We'll get to that. That's, um, Still. but, yeah, it, it was – even the boys, like, that was that. They were hooking in, and that, oh. it, that exhausted that a couple of times, like, <laughs> off balance, just both of them tackles. on the deck. <laughs> you know, both of them on the deck and getting just up, mate. Tackling it was other. entertaining as fuck. That was fuck so yeah. good. And that's what the boys commentating, like, you know, obviously you're watching those sort of blues, and it's just about two cunts having a crack. Yeah, you know? nice. And, um, look, when it got to the end of that fight – I honestly had no idea. I'm like, who the fuck knows who won that? Good on him for having a crack. Cam won. Good on him. Fucking like, that's what they all scored. the best here if you're a judge and you fucking didn't give it to Cam and it was close. Oh, yeah. It might have been a bit on. <laughs> yeah, there but was clear cut. All the They're fucking like, very best. Like I said, I, I watched it back and even then still, I'm like, both the boys swung. She was messy. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't have a clue and, and if it had went to Gibbo, I wouldn't have been sitting here saying, nah. And even for oh, Cam, I'm would've. not doing the same, but... You know, good on him. Oh, it fucks me. Yeah, it was, it was fucking great. <laughs> it was, so fucking, it was fucking great. And then moving on from great to not so great. Yeah, I'm not even mentioning that. That was embarrassing, the, right the lingerie. Not their fault, but no, we won't mention it. Good chance for a piss break and grab another drink. Which yeah. is what everyone did. That's what right. Even when I watched back the pay-per-view, I didn't even watch it. And then one were you sh- it not their straight fault? Straight after? No. No, no Lukey, no, Lukey Stowe. Lukey Stowe and Michael. Now, this one, there was a bit of fucking heat here. The, in the double press dislocation. Press yeah, press yeah. conference as well. So oh, it was a lipping. I was like, f- so because we were there and the speakers were facing the fucking crowd, mm. it was hard to hear sometimes. Yeah, but Luke, <laughs> who is the guy who uh, he's pro- the Quino of levels. He produces levels, right? Yep. Had uh, had the audacity to say to Michael, "How is it, fucking?" Talking in front of an audience for a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I was like, hang on a minute. Aren't you the producer? Well, yeah, Michael's yeah. comeback to that was probably the one that sat me the most was I'm surprised you know how to use a mic. Yeah. <laughs> Willie and fucking Horro don't let you have one. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. It was a pretty good bit of lip there. He brought up the whole YT, YKTR thing with ice. and Yeah. I don't there's know fair, anything that's going on There's a fair bit of tension. Oh, I'm not even getting into it. But yeah, yeah, there was we a, the face <laughs> off. There was a bit of a shove too. Yeah. The fucking yeah. button heads. Yeah, like, yeah. it was going right. And then what did he um, – he got a couple of good shots in and then what got the shoulder? The shoulder double dislocation. dislocation. Both shoulders. Both shoulders. shoulders. Yeah. Surely he had dodgy shoulders as well coming well, in. Yeah, but what the fuck? There that's was, what, so, I, that's I said, what I was thinking. If you, had, if you had dodgy shoulders coming in, would you fucking put one of the other two in? If they actually <laughs> well, one was on yeah, crutches. One's yeah, done one his knee. Fucking did his knee. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I, I said just, the fact that there was even just dislocations of shoulders for the night, and that was the main injury. I was yeah. like, not once did I prepare, thinking yeah. my shoulder <laughs> might pop out in this fucking fight. I was worried about my jaw but, being snapped in half. But I think that's the thing, though, with the shoulders. Once, once you've done them once, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah you're yeah, fucked. fucked. You are so, fucked. But yeah. not neither of them wore one bit of tape. Like What's strap that? and tape. Yeah, no, on the shoulder, no. Place. No one wore anyway. Yeah. But anyway, the boy I got out and had a crack. Shout out to Lukey for getting the win. He landed some good shots. They both did. Yeah. There was a couple of fucking good shots yeah. for both the boys. Mm. Deserved win to uh, to the stow. Mm. Um, and then. Oh, mate. I was fucking. Yeah. That How was. was that? Electric. I, I was walking around pacing out, out the back. And when they were doing the crowd stuff with Fez and that, by the yeah. way, it was a backflip off the oh, rail. Yeah, unreal. We'll, we'll get to Fez and Corey yeah. and fucking all the boys <laughs> from down there later. I was that fucking pumped. Klutz made his walk out and then was like, right, let's fucking go finally. Like I've been waiting so long for this, man. And, mate, walked out and just – Looked out, man, and my whole body just fucking like I was just numb. The roof yep. fucking come off that joint. Holy, I thought it was actually in a tower. I was out the just... back, and I'm like, I'm just gonna watch it from here. And I fucking seen it on the screen, and I heard it, and I went nah. And I fucking <laughs> sprinted, 
pulled the curtain and I ran up and down where the tables were. Yeah. I ran up and down like the – if you're looking at the ring from the stage, the left side, mm. just sprinting, <laughs> throwing my hands in the air, oh. just going, let's go. It was oh, fuck, something man. else. I had goosebumps everywhere just going, this yeah. is fucking Because I knew your song as well that yeah, you're walking yeah. out to and I was standing down ringside of that little section. I was – Probably the most keen for a walkout I was to see because yeah. I knew the crowd was going to. That was the most G'd up I was, roar. I reckon, yeah. even including mine. Yeah. Mate, it just you couldn't not help it. Like the, oh. they made that much fucking. Oh, it was it was insane. And even like I forgot to even stop next to the ring to to cuddle everyone and get my shirt off. I yeah. just fucking bounced straight in there. I'm like, <laughs> get in there, get, get in fucking in. straight in. And then I'm like, oh fuck, I didn't need like my old man and fucking. Me mates and that that were there didn't even fuck it. I'm like, yeah, yeah boys. And then <laughs> got the shirt off. And then I looked at this big cunt, like straight Massive. over there. And I was Huge. like, and I was like, right, Large. Up, let's go. And out the back, man, felt really good on the pads, as in, like, I really felt like I was going to be able to, like, coach him into land in a straight right. And I was like, sweet, knew the jab was there. The body shots were going to have to be a big part on points. Oh, like, I always cool. thought it was going to go down and train for, but I thought the straight right would be there. And then looking at him when we were squaring off, and then as soon as we started getting into it, I just realised he's just his fucking head was so far away, and yeah. he and, and he wasn't even dropping his hands, landing the body shot. That I was like, I'm just gonna have to land the big overhand, ju- or just go for the overhand. He was very like, side on, yeah, and literally you couldn't get near him nah. with a. That's Unless right. you sort of moved in a bit, you know? Yeah. If- and so, the, like, the whole thing from the start was moving heaps and then just... Not get, towards him. No. <laughs> Which not- is what you had to do if you want to hit him in the face. Yeah. And so <laughs> the whole thing was just landing those body shots and accumulating points. And then when the old exchanges happened, trying to land that overhand right. <laughs> Which you tried. Yeah. <laughs> we got, got a couple of them, but... You know, the main storyline of it was move heaps, fucking get out of the way of the big cunt, and then just yeah. get points with the body shots, and that's that's literally what happened. Yeah. Like, it was just – but, mate, I've got to give it to that bloke. Like, fucking massive respect to him. He had a lot more mongrel in the cunt in his eyes and everything than I th- I thought he would have been out Same. of the juice. Like, I thought he wouldn't go the three rounds. No, either. and I thought, he, I thought by the end of it – and even though – Remember, I had to run around flat out, and he just pivoted and and pointed. <laughs> He's fucking just pivoted. <laughs> yeah, that is spot he on, did. though. But that um, is yeah. that's how you train. Yes. How yep. many times do I say to you, yeah. fucking stand still, cunt? And so I said, I well, hit and I just went, nah, because I'm not going to be standing still. Yeah. So he just pivoted and kept his arms up the whole time, and I was like, well, fuck me, I'm just gonna have to keep going and landing those body shots. You were and landing some prime body shots yeah, too. Yeah, yeah just straight good. one in the guts, and um, and yeah, man, it, it was fucking wild though. Like when when we get into those scuffles and he'd really fire up, he'd just get the crazy eyes, and I'm sitting sitting there going, holy fuck, he's a big angry cunt, and just <laughs> yeah. like he let, he skimmed a couple off me head and landed one beauty. I've got a little split lip, which is the only damage I took of the whole thing. Um very grateful of that and um <laughs> landed that one and i went can't take too many more of those yeah and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah kept moving but no i was happy and that's why every time i went back to the corner the boys are going sweet keep doing that like fucking and that and they're saying like keep hitting him in the body and if he drops his hands that's where the top will open up but he just never dropped him he yeah did, so I, I just kept hitting him in the gut he just yep. kept taking you know and guts. i think a lot of um people from the bbb community forget that body shots count as points Mm. Um, well, like we explained the points system before, it is pretty fucking black and white. If there wasn't any knockdowns or standing eights, mm. you land more punches, you won. That's yeah. literally it. That and was that's, it. And that's there's what they no said. Way there's that... no, there's, it doesn't take it into account, um, like you pressuring, you not pressuring. Definitely. It's like whoever lands more punches. Which is fucking how it should be. That's exactly but, uh, how it should be. Any no specific members? What's that? The no, oh, there's a bloke called Lockie Arm that is just a fucking loser. That can't. Is he the like, one and, that did our tell the I tapes? Sh- as yeah, well? and I like shout out to him because you need those blokes in the community to help pump shit up. Yeah, but yep. it's when the whole robbery thing started where I'm like, cop your licks, cunt. If you lose, you lose. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's right? right. And it's like if Danny Green who was fucking honest the whole night and called out that Daily Blue thing, knows a little bit about boxing, 
if he fucking says that I won afterwards, then I reckon I'll take that and fucking run with it. But yeah. either way, man, I was just happy to get in there, get it done. Um, like I said, shout out to Klutz, man. He showed a lot of fucking heart. Yeah, and, and his way, boat did. And, and, and it was honour to share the fucking ring with him and have a red hot crack. The only thing after that I'm like, I'm glad it worked, stuck to the game plan, got the job done. But afterwards I'm like, um, I would have loved to test myself against someone who was like my size and weight to be yeah. out of land that straight right and get some combos and not have to run like a weapon the whole time and yeah. actually test myself and, and know that I'm able to cop that punch. He was just such a big cunt. You can that see I why there is weight divisions oh, in boxing. Yeah, yeah, exactly man. right. If I ever do that again, there's no fucking way I'm doing that. Yeah. It's funny because the whole time we were like, I'll fucking stick my hand up and go, mate, you're just going to you're gonna hammer him. Like he won't be. I able thought to last. he was going to gasp. Won't be able to last second. the three rounds. Won't be able to last the three rounds. And that was nothing against him. I don't know him from a bar of soap, but yeah. I was just like, he's too big. He's not going to be able. Well, to that last. was coming from one front row of myself to another who's five times my size. Is also five a, times <laughs> also you, a front row. <laughs> no, wait, I mean that in a nice. That's a bit way. of Jake's That's fake a, news. Jake's yeah, fake news. Compliment as a front rower, but <laughs> then that was like up. to watch him. Um, Actually go that distance Like fucking good on him But you fucking showed Your fitness too cunt That's what I was like Holy You were bouncing around Like you said oh. you would And you just did it For the whole six minutes straight Mate, You didn't look gassed When they said a minute didn't left Didn't look gassed no. at, the end of, at the end of the third I was I back. reckon you still look Pretty good in that last bit <laughs> Mate though. When he said When they said a minute to go In the third I thought Holy <laughs> fuck I've <laughs> got a bit on here I thought The last round Went for ten minutes Oh cunt <laughs> Did ya so, yeah, man, you thought that. I was just like, oh, oh. I've got a bit of a Viden to do here. <laughs> but the thing was that, like, that's what i got to give him credit for. Like, landing those straight rights in the guts, and he just did not even look like dropping the hand. Because I'm thinking, drop those big cunts so I can <laughs> fucking hit your head. How, one thing that I fucking learned from all the training and that was how much a body shot hurts more than you think it does. Oh. Because in street brawls, I've had my face punched in a few times in the piss. Same. But no one in a fucking street brawl has ever gone, oh, I might work a few liver shots mm. here and drop him. Coppin just one shot to the body in training is like, mm. well, you, it's just like, fuck. If you feel around anywhere where your ribs aren't, mm. it's just fucking nothing. Yeah, there. something straight to like the diaphragm. Straight just, in your sternum, oh. man, is the worst one. When we, sparred, when we sparred, um, this is a fucking... Claim to fame here. When we sparred Benny Hussain, yeah. he hit me that soft three times in about 20 seconds, I'll say, yeah. in the sternum, and I was killed. Yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't even so hit it me didn't hard. It doesn't take much to Because there's nothing there. If you push shot. in there just underneath your chest bone, yeah. there was just nothing. And that, it was um, it was that weird, though. Like, you boys wouldn't know this feeling, obviously, but after the fight's done, after three rounds. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. it's got to go. Oh, that thing after round one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, like, after round one, you have to do two more normally if you oh. don't stop them. What? And, and it goes to the Who judges, the right? Why they? the fuck would you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, obviously going to them, we finish, give the big fucker a cuddle and say, yeah. good on you, mate. We've done it. Like, good work. Yeah. And fucking then went back to corner and I felt like I stuck to the game plan sweet, landed more punches to the guts that scored and shit. But I was still like, fuck, I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. know. And just went back to the boys. I'm like, did I win? And he goes, yeah, man, yeah, you sweet. And fucking went to the corner but still sitting there. And then I got announced, man, and it was just like this overwhelming sense of thank fuck. Yeah. Yep. Thank fuck. Like as in it just consumed my whole it was fucking life. Probably the biggest yeah. relief that <sighs> like it ever. It, it hit me in the ring and then when I had my shower after as well, I just went, holy cunt. I was mm. like, Do you reckon you would have been fuck, done? Like if it went the other way? No, I was I was prepared in my head. Like I was like, look, I don't know. I felt like I won, um, but I'm like, if it went the other way, I just kept telling myself, even leading up, if I felt like I did enough and got stitched up, I'd just cop it. Like as yeah. in, it, as I was saying there, I was preparing not to because I'm like prepare for the worst. And just say fucking give him a clap, good work, big fella, and just yeah, you know, steam, yeah. But, um, and, and mate, like he did the whole time too. Klutzy's been nothing but fucking an absolute legend the whole yeah. time mm. after. And just, because that's what it's all about. It's not like that's we're right. winning world titles. No. It's not like we've got anything after this. It was about getting in and having a go. Yeah. And that's yeah. been the whole Survive thing. Survive for know? six minutes. The so, people who put the most pressure on us was us. 
Yep. The only cunts who the put only No cunts. one. Yeah, well, actually, funny. everyone who had coin on probably did. But yeah, 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 yeah. Me and getting everyone. backed in from four seventy five to a dollar thirty added a tiny bit. <laughs> tiny bit of pressure, you reckon? Yeah, oh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, man, yeah, just the experience in in uh, general and just hearing the crowd like that was fucking insane. Wild, so. eh? And, mm. like, the chants of ABC. Oh, and that fucking, was. No idea what that stands for. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That was just, the biggest yeah. chant of the weekend. It started at that fucking press conference. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Any How's chance the fucking people who it? rocked up to that? Oh. Just fucking That cool. was. Yeah. The judge I Crock. got from that because, like, how much – of the crowd was just loose, probably first night fever as well though. But mm. judging off that press conference, I just went, holy fuck. I was like, this crowd is going to rip the roof off the convention. I relaxed. Night. Yeah. Yeah. Same. It I was relaxed weird. only until fucking 3 p.m. the next day. Yeah, but it was weird for me too. For, I thought that, but for some reason I'm like, oi, all these cunts are just here to see some That's blue right. that there's no... I think end. everyone had that, like, feeling of relief because I was nervous going into the press conference too. I was like, fuck, I've never done a real, like, big yeah. live speaking well, the, event. Yeah, and the then thing the boys, is... It's just, I felt like you're just there just with mates and blokes and these loose units are just yeah. laughing, saying stupid shit. I, I hadn't... Like, this is um, awesome. So it was fucking weird. I don't know if this was a bit of, bit of uh, mind games or not, but when uh, we were all waiting out the front to do the, the fighters meeting or whatever and mm. before we headed to the press conference and Josh has rocked up in the Uber and got out in his fucking Mrs. Boots and fucking <laughs> cornrows, <laughs> the skinny jeans and the cornrows and I was like, oh, righto. And he come up and shook me hand and I sort of just stared at him and went, oh, how's been training, mate. Didn't and he just went, yeah, mate, yeah, good to meet you. And I went, this cunt, I've met him before. <laughs> but oh, he yeah, said, like, oh, good to meet you. And yeah. I went, I haven't really met him because I was off my head at the live show. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, fucking, I, I have met the cunt before. Mm. But anyway, I went, oh yeah, whatever. And then, like, as it all sort of carried on throughout the night, I realised, hang on, this bloke's just as fucking nervous as I am about mm. this. Mm. And that's when I was sort of started to relax a bit. And then the whole crowd thing. And then after the press conference finished, we all needed to go back to the bus, but I got stuck on the field and everyone in their fucking RLC jerseys that and baggy awesome. caps was coming up to me. Can I just too that, that we had, like obviously the Alpha Blokes was a, was a massive thing of the weekend, but like there was a fucking rock solid group of Reggies. Oh, fuck hey, yeah. And they were loud in their little fucking group. They were, good on they you had cunts. their little group that was trying to Proper. just take on the ABC chair. <laughs> yeah. the fucking G1G chair. The G1G, <laughs> yeah. which, yeah. Obviously, there was a heap of Jarchi fans there as well. Uh, just before we get into that, mm. I went to the Broadie Tav on Saturday yes. after just to relax mm. myself. Put the piss on for the boys. Barbs was there, obviously, Polly nice and hand. early. Uh, I think it was AJ. Man, you know, yeah, AJ. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Best mo on earth. Fucking oath. I think he went over. I think it was him. He went over to the construction site across the road from the Broadie Tav and asked, do you have any poly pipe? <laughs> And he came back with about two two foot <laughs> two foot of poly, and then Barb's has tried to like go yeah. to me something about the poly. They put the video up. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but I basically just say, "Shut up, cunt, or I'll sack you." <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, this whole afternoon, Buttons B one tip lost. Mm. I had already lost. Yeah, and fucking Barb's has tipped. For the B1, B2 segment was about to run Randwick Race 4 and it's all built up to Button's already lost. If this wins, Barb's is back to B1. Yeah. <laughs> we got the whole Pressure's pub building. on it and we're like, right, <clears throat> this is unreal. Barb's is coming. He's a bit nervous. The cunt ends up running about eighth mm. and I just got the whole pub to go B2, B2, oh. B2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that anyway. was good of you, mate, to go to that. Like I just could, I was just in this fucking crazy state of mind I had that to, day. Yeah, I, I, would have I, been prob I probably should have. I tried but. to keep it as normal as possible, but, yeah, I couldn't. I did seven shits before mm. the fight, I counted. <laughs> Noah fucking tipped us into this thing at Randwick, race two, I think, paying 15 bucks. Oh. Had 25 yes, each way on it and just... Just printed and just went, fuck yeah, I'm glad I he came He just now. loves a pun too. Mate, Holy. he is fucking so hilarious. So like fucking theatrical. He'll just Proper. get up and just, yes, and just Proper. ride the thing home. Theatrical degenerate when he yeah. gets on the punt. 
Uh, like, He's anyway, the that, was my, of this. Uh, that was my little prep mm. for it. Um, but we can get back yeah, to the so card. Yeah, so next one, the little fellas, the ant weight bout. Crowd favourite, mate. They yeah, loved it. Easy. And the boys proper took it serious and fucking hooked in like every other cunt did on the card too. Yeah. Great blokes as well, mate. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, legends, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. They hooked in, rocked up for the presser, loved every minute of it. Everyone was good to them. Fucking after party, absolute legends. So shout out to them. I think Shawnee the Whip got the job done. Shawn the yep. Whip. He had the reach even though yeah. old mate was taller yeah. and had 20 kilos on him, mm. which is, yeah. So, but you anyway. know, we've, we've shown, mate, Shawnee, that it's not about the size of the dog, Jay. That's right. <laughs> good night. Um, right, I mean, good on The him. fucking yeah. moment you've all been waiting for, mate. Oh. G. Da, 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 da. G. <laughs> mate, tell us about the fucking how you were feeling at the, feeling oh. at the back. Just. So, straight up, the fucking uh, punch show on Thursday. You're fucking welcome, listeners. Yeah. <laughs> All four of us. Yes. On the uh, a part of the show, we've just got you. We printed units. for you. But after you's all won, and I'm the last fucking piece of the puzzle here. The last mm. leg. Like I don't know how many listeners that we've got here that listen to Knuckles and that as well. Yeah. But we can't speak on behalf of them. Like. The last piece of the the Reggie's multi. The CQ. Yeah. Flats, feature big. Feature, feature flats yeah. puzzle. Mm. And then oh, the I'm added going, pressure I'm holy. going, fuck me, dude. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> but I just kept thinking back to like, I'm not supposed to win this. Mm. Just so everyone just remember. Two dollars ten. Like in my head, I'm going, oh, I need to win. Mm, but yeah. I'd played off the whole thing of like, he's got to win. Team Jarch needs to win for his brand. And I've played it all down on purpose, by the way. That yeah, was a yeah. fucking set play. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Keto <laughs> for that one. But, yeah, I'm just out the back going, right. And then all the thoughts start going in your head like, hold on, you've got this, like people already give you shit because you can't blue because you fucking lost a few on the street and this is your one chance to go, hang on a minute, oi, I've fucking got a bit of athletic ability here and I fucking mm. tried my hardest. Yeah. And I'm going, right, I've put 10 weeks in, you're good. Yeah, you're good, yeah, you're yeah. good. And I kept warming up and doing a few little 30-second shadows and I was like, I felt fucking unreal. Yeah. And I was like, righto, this is it. Yeah. We're on. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody noticed, but – and you did what you just did and that was all fine. But I didn't walk out with fucking anyone mm. because I was like – I didn't either. There's one like, cunt alone. who's going to help me in the ring and it's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'll walk out and like I don't know what he did, didn't care. He went first. Or I come out second and I think as soon as I got on the stage and looked and I went, fuck yeah, this is unreal. <laughs> and I knew the words to me song and I was like looking down the barrel of the camera, rapping the song and I'm like, how fucking cool is this? And then, yeah, just got in there and I reckon as we were like in the middle about to touch gloves, I was just staring at him and I went, let's fucking, this is it. And he went, yeah, mate, let, let's do it. And I was like, yep. All right, I reckon I've got him here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, straight up, felt fast. But mm. he was way faster than I thought he was going to be. Uh, yeah, both moving out sharp. of the way. Yeah, it but was the, shaping up good. The way he was moving out of the way, I was like, I can't get hit because you're getting so low and making yourself so small that – I'm throwing a straight right and I might miss. You didn't even have to put your hand back up quicker or anything. Yeah, but mm. by the time I – Sort of you stand back up, I'm gone. Like, yeah. I'm out. But then he did hit me with the nice left, but that was when one one of the times that he didn't get so low. Yeah. So I was like, boom, oh, yep, grabbed him. And then I went, right, I have fucking practiced this a thousand times, like on the bag, on the pads, where I sort you fucking of. fucking, uh, yeah, you do this and, yeah. I faint the jab and then I'm going to literally, I, I'd always exaggerate it because you never – do it how you're supposed to at yeah. the time. So on the bag, I'd always exaggerate, almost trying to put my ear down to my hip. Like that's how exaggerated I'd try and move my head to the side. Yeah. After I faint the jab and then just throw the big straight right. And like it looks on camera, it looks <laughs> fucking like he is just wide open. <laughs> well, it's because he, 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 like, because you two both threw, like you just beat him. Like, because he was, yeah. he, you both were like, like inching towards each other, 
and you've cocked it and just sent it straight up the pipe and he was throwing more of like a, a round yeah, one hook, and, yeah. and that's why he was open because you were both throwing one. But remember you saying that exact punch, you go, I want to just let – and you were showing me the exact punch yep. about a week before and just fucking found the non-existent Absolute chin. <laughs> the timing on it was just – and that, I set out the back after. I was like, I honestly didn't even feel like I got him because it was like – just the timing yeah. was that perfect. And then, yeah, he's gone down and I went fucking O's. <laughs> and just <laughs> went into the – I just remember the boys telling me for weeks and weeks, if that happens, get straight to the white corner yep. like so they can start the count. And I just ran over to it and then I saw his shoulder was out. Mm. And that's when the confusion started because yeah. I was like jumped up on the ropes and cunts were booing. And I'm like, fuck you. I've just – Fucking, mm. you know, Sparked. cracked him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as the ref's like taking him back to the corner, I got down and went, fuck, he might be going to, you know, because the bell went. That yeah. was the bit. Because if the bell didn't go, yeah, well, it they would have had to call it because you can't, it's 10 seconds and you're ready to go. Exactly. Or not. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the bell <clears> went and I went, fuck, the bell saved him. So I went back to the, my corner. Yeah. And then the doctor's gone, like, telling him. actually got it in. Yeah, impressive. straight away, and that's when I'm yeah. like, fuck, is this cunt going to come back out? And I thought, what a tough motherfucker. Yeah, Can't yeah. you just fucking, just you know, you're gone. Oh, you surely, I've just sat you, <laughs> yeah. and you pop your shoulder out. And then that's when I went over to him, and I went, are we fighting still? And he went, no, 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 I'm, I'm gone. And yeah. I just was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. I've done it. Just soaked in. But I'm fucking, yeah, I definitely wasn't annoyed about it. I was pumped. Yeah, but yeah. The same time, I'm like, fuck, I kind of wish it stayed in just it, so that I could show the. Because that, to me, the power thing wasn't even the best part about what I had to offer. It was me stamina, me yeah. cardio. Yep. yep. Like, I just wanted to fucking go and put on a three round performance sort of thing, you yeah. know. But at the same that, time, I'm obviously not going to fucking. Because, like, complain. obviously, he, like, popped up and you could see he was with it before 10 seconds. Yeah. Looking at the ref going, me shoulder. I'm good, but me shoulder. Yeah. So that's like, as in, he could have got up, but, mate, I'm that confident and knew the work you put in. And that's what leading up, cunts are lipping up and. Like you of your instruction saying, don't you fucking say anything. I'm going, you can't. Yeah. I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> and that's why it's so good to just sit here now and go fucking shut the fuck up exactly. <laughs> to everyone yeah. who. And that's what, mate. I chirped a couple of cunts straight after just blowing, going, oh, his shoulder. I said, shut the fuck up. I said, his shoulder obviously is out and he could have got up, but his shoulder was out because he was laying on his face. Yeah. Groper, <laughs> you punched him and literally made his jaw move to the complete opposite yeah. side and dropped him. You didn't punch and his mate, shoulder. No, and no, like, no, obviously, no, no. And, and it is it does <clears throat> suck because, like, it would have been good for if he landed down and then got back up and he's wobbled, that's when you go in and make your fucking moves. I mean, and you have yeah. from there, yeah. But, but that's um, what I yeah. think. Even if he got out of the first round, I'm fucking super confident that there was no way I was losing that just because of the way that he was defending, getting so low mm. where – you couldn't attack from there. And yeah. my cardio, I would have fucking, yeah. But, mate, at the end of the day, beautiful performance. Got the job done. His shoulder did pop out. Yeah. And fucking is what it is. You won yeah. the fight. And it yeah. was it was fucking. That, was, that the clean, was that was the cleanest shot of the whole fucking night. The whole yeah. night. That was the Beautiful. definition of like timing and precision. Yeah. Just it was fucking, fucking spot on. Unreal feeling. And like <clears> I said, it was the timing was prime and it just didn't even feel like I'd got him until yeah. I like – Looked down and he was sort of the arms were out. And he was on the chest and I'm just like, oh, oh shit! <laughs> I think it just caught everyone off guard too. It caught me off guard. I was standing ringside watching it, hey. kind of talking to my brother, blah blah blah. And then it's just within half a second, I'm just going, ah, oh, ah. Oh, I sprinted oh. up the walkway of the fucking where people walked into you, standing on the ropes, just carrying on, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. jumping up in the air, fucking lipping. That was fucking and then oh. I was like, what's doing here? Like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. Like, the bell and I went, he's been yeah. saved. And then we went, hold on. I was just like sitting there but, for 30 seconds like, fucking please tell me this cunt has won. But yeah. like I said, man, credit to the legend because straight that night, like I think it was the first post any fighter had done, he just he put a thing together and yeah. just give you full credit and he goes, he fucking found me chin. Like good, good on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, good yeah. on you, brother. That was the best narrative out of us all. Like, and you the, an it was good to see yeah. all the positive 
comment on that video yeah. too. There was about okay. 150 comments, yeah, and all of them were his supporters. You know, saying fucking yeah. blah blah blah. All good. Don't worry about it. Just that showed how everything was like lighthearted. It yeah. wasn't nothing about that week. And then about getting in and having a go. Wasn't yeah, it? there was a couple on there though, because I went through them just to see if there's any shit about me. Yeah, yeah. And I had a look at a few, and there was one of a bloke who clearly did not watch one fucking fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because he said congratulations to me, Jarchi did. Mm. And then um, old mates commented and said, can't believe you congratulating a bloke after you, it was because of your shoulder popped out. And I just went, oh. <laughs> and I went to comment oh. and I went, don't fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. Just let him fucking go. <laughs> well, mate, that's like, that's like even I was saying before, it'd be nice to finish my knockout like you did so you don't have any fucking cock-sucking couch. <laughs> Spuds <laughs> saying, that was probably, oh, no, yeah. robbery. That was one so, positive. Thing but no one but said you a word still even why. have the shoulder thing, and it's just like they yeah, can't nah, just fucking. You can't, he doesn't want to find any fucking. And shoes. he's definitely not using that as anything. No, no, no that's and that's, that's, what, that's what I mean. Well. That's what I mean yeah. about him. And, um, but yeah, mate, just stellar performance. It was fucking yeah. unreal. But you fucking worked for it. I oh, know. And that's yep. what I said in the ring. I said, look, obviously the punch was ideal. That's what I wanted. But. The shoulder thing, didn't want that to happen. Everyone fucking give him a round of applause. Yeah, and yeah. that sort of won him over a bit, you know. <laughs> <'Cause they were laughs> so fucking, you could then say, but I fucking deserved <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I fucking deserved that. Fucking as so. you do. Yeah. Rumor is um, John Cena is starting to now walk out to the Groper song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh mate, it was oh, it was uh, it was funny. Like, <laughs> can't see him because Beck obviously knows how your humour is, and with the flick pass that you you've been running for ages, <laughs> about a decade. Uh, yeah, about a decade. Now you have a new highlight. Um, he's sitting there, and he go, "What were you? What was the security company thing?" Oh, yesterday at the airport. Yeah, Beck <laughs> rocked up with all the kids to fucking pick Tommy up. We were on the wonderful. same flight, and um, I said, "Hey, Beck." <laughs> pulled her off to the side and said, hey, I, I need to talk to you about maybe doing the bookkeeping for me new security company. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Hell. She's like, oh, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> it was actually, um, I forgot. Uh, like, so my young fella, you know, not we, we brought him to a couple of sparring sessions, but he's not like right into the fighting thing and he's not the most aggressive dude, like pretty timid and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. anyway... The whole time I thought I might show him this one day, depending on how it goes, you know. And um, Beck told me after the fight that he watched the whole thing. Yeah, nice. I had no idea. Trooper. And I'm sort of glad I didn't know because I would have been like, fuck, like I'd, you know, yeah. this big fucker could sleep me at any time. Yeah. But knowing that he did after, it was, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Cool moment like to just have. Just going, holy fuck, that's crazy. Yeah, fuck yeah. But yeah, so... I don't know. Just uh, unreal experience. Won't ever forget it. Ever. No, okay. um, It'll be. I actually don't know how. Me personally, that is topped as as a overwhelming experience like that. And going to punch on, yeah, like getting that's cheered right. to just because people like you, as opposed to people fucking fight up because you're mm. about to get in a ring with, and adding to the nerves, a massive cunt. To yeah. fight yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of your crowd yeah. is just it's I don't one know how thing it in front of four thousand people, and then how many thousand on a pay per view to do anything but literally going out there and throwing punches at yeah. another man with that <laughs> crowd. Yeah. You just go, holy fuck! Yeah. Well, That's the day. coolest mm. thing I've done in my fucking life yet, and, and mate, it's going to be hard. To be honest, it um. <clears throat> I've already had respect for boxers and <coughs> fighters, but after being in there and feeling what I felt after three two-minute rounds, mm. which you, you look at and you just sit on your couch like a spud drinking beers going, oh, he's gaffed, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> like as in that level of respect will always be so much more now. Yeah, than, yeah fucking you know, now that you've done that. Yeah. So. Every fight, MMA, boxing, anything that I like watch, the rest of my life now, I'll be a little bit of like, eh, <laughs> fucking been out in front of 4,000 people. <laughs> oh, well, you didn't fucking knock him out in the first round. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. oh, Idiot's gas because yeah. he can't throw hard enough punches in the first. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more fight to get to. The the one to finish it all off, Knuckles and Brizey versus Marty and Michael, a tag team fight. Um, this was – I didn't actually get to watch it live Neither. that well because I was – um. 
I, I was just steaming around, pumped up in my fight gear the whole time. And I, and I only realised when this fight started that I'm supposed to get in the ring and thank everyone after. Yeah, And yeah, I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be a fucking hero getting in there with me. <laughs> Fighting shit still on, so I sprinted out the back and didn't really get to watch it. Yeah, um, but I watched it back on the pay per view, and um, very tight fight. Like I felt like I could not split Brizey and Marty. They were very technical, and mm-hmm. Marty, mate, was very skillful. I knew Brizey could fight like fuck. Like yeah, he, yeah. he could fight, yeah. and so Marty really surprised me. That bloke must have put in some really hard training. Yeah, so would have Michael, but Marty had some really good skills. It was like really well matched. Yeah, and even yeah, Danny yeah. and that was saying this is great technical boxing. You could tell he loved it because he was used to watching the last few, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. the first half of the card that was that <laughs> yeah. pretty Bit of wild. swinging. But I honestly felt like Knuckles got the better hand of Michael when they when they were having the exchanges. So for me personally, I thought, oh, maybe um, you know, Knuckles and Brizey bias here as well. By the way, yeah, um, you know, two, straight two up mates honesty of mine. right there. Yeah, <laughs> biased. I, I fucking wanted him to win, but I felt like the only thing I could see was Knuckles maybe getting the better hand of um, Michael. Uh, but they give it to Marty and Michael, and it wasn't that bad. Where it was like robbery. No, like, no, I'm not no, sitting here yeah. saying robbery. But um, <laughs> g- but good on them, you know. Yeah, it Fuck was fucking yeah. wild. Now I can honestly say have not seen one punch thrown in that fight. Yeah, because it was straight after mine. I went out the back. Uh, quick sh- uh, shout out to well, not a shout out, but it was that weird going back out the back. No one was out there. Yeah, I went out the back and I went. I couldn't see because it was such a big room, and you know how you like go. You couldn't really see the whole room at, at once. Mm. If yeah, you're big in, if you're in yeah. one corner, you couldn't see. Yeah, and I've gone out and just the emotions that come out of me, and I just screamed at the ceiling like, "Fucking yes!" Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I've walked around the corner, and the only two people that were in the room was fucking Jarch and his missus. Oh, <laughs> and I just went, "Mate, I'm so sorry." Like, put my hands up. I said, "I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that." He's like, "No, mate. Fucking, you deserve it. All this. He was all sweet. Yeah, but I still felt shit." And then I've got you to take me up to Wendy. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Because I took. What was that like seeing Wendy straight after? Oh, that? awesome! Man. That was fun. Kind of like run and jump at each other. Jumped on was, me, yeah. and I was like, "Fucking, oh. man, I've done it." You know, yeah, like yeah. it's all been worth it. And then the fucking cheek on her just goes all the next two days. She just goes, I wasn't nervous at all. I w- honestly, I was not one bit nervous. I said, won't you? <laughs> she goes, Matt, nah, I knew you were going to do it. And I said, well, that makes one of us because I was shit. She honestly. was She was definitely a bit nervous. Surely, she yeah. Was, well, I went up and saw them because Molly was sitting with Wendy and, yeah. and, yeah, even Molly can confirm they were both fucking holding That's their breath what I reckon. for Mate, two Beck hours was, straight. Beck was, like, shitting herself the whole time, obviously, and – Mate, the like I said in the ring, the the amount that she just let me do and just didn't whinge once and put up with it's been this massive thing and to get it done, like oh mate, I, I like embraced with her at the back and I was crying. Like yeah. she was crying, I was crying, and we just thought we fucking did it. I saw that, and I, I just, fucking just couldn't go over to you because I was ready to go out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, fuck, I can see this cunt tearing up. Oh, yeah, but I, was I just couldn't to hold it in. <laughs> I just couldn't hold it in. It was like that, just so, just happy to, yeah. to both of us. Like, because she, she said to me after two, she goes. Knowing how I was and how I prepared for it and everything, she goes, I don't know what the fuck I would have done if you lost. Same. Like, I just would and, exactly and she just right. goes, thank fuck you won because yep. just how – and, mate, I would have took it fucking that well to everyone in the public mm-hmm. um, and, and spoke and wouldn't have been sour and that, but just me on myself personally, I just wouldn't have taken it very yeah, well, no, I don't think. Neither. Quick shout-out oh. to all three of our misses for oh, putting yeah. up with us for the last <laughs> yeah. few months. Like I said, Massive the ring. Shout Ask out. her if I'm having another go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, no. <laughs> and, and, like, I probably shouldn't say never because maybe in a few years things might change, but I can personally say – there is no way I'm doing something as stupid as that in the stage I'm at with my life and the age my kids are at. Well, boys, yeah. I'll only take someone in the top ten next. That's <laughs> all he wants a fucking ranked fight of this gun. <laughs> Mate, fair bit of lip there. But anyway, boys, I've like, got what a... more can you say about the fucking about the, the whole weekend? Oh, yeah. it's just, just stupid a... good how good it was. Like I gotta just shout a few people out here. 
Um, the dirty mole, <laughs> he met me on the Friday night and I've never seen a more enthusiastic fucking up and about Reggie. He had the jersey on, had the reg. Or, oh, did he have the reg? I can't quite remember. But he was so fucking excited. I've never mm. – I don't. I was almost scared. Yeah. But at the same time, I was like, fucking hell, this bloke just froths it. Mm. Um, the dirty mole, he, he – he that's his name too. He's told me that is his name. Yeah. And then to to prove that that was not, I believed it. <laughs> you didn't doubt him one. Straight bit. up, I didn't doubt you one time. But to, just to really drive it home, he pulled the jersey off, and he's got mole tattooed on the back of him. <laughs> oh. and I just went, okay. Um, the father and son that I met, please forgive me. I've fucked. I've fucked up here, and I've forgotten your names, but. I also met you when I was fucking steaming. Uh, and on the Friday when I met his people, that was awesome because they were there together as father and son. That was what they were doing. And I just fucking thought that was great. They mm. just, you know, they thought the world of the whole event. Yeah. And I just thought that was a great thing to do. Two lads from northern New South Wales uh, forgot their names too. Yeah. You'll know exactly who you fucking are because mm. one of you was an absolute pest who I <laughs> <laughs> I loved every bit of. You know when you can just you're looking at some. He gave it to me for yeah, twenty four yeah. hours straight. He <laughs> fucking gave it to me, man. Yeah, and I was just looking at him, going, "You are me." <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, when I get in this state, I just fucking bully cunts. Yeah. <laughs> and you are just bullying me. And all I did was laugh at him, man, the yeah. whole time. It was fucking unreal. And his mate, he was bullying him too. Yeah. <laughs> just ripping He's into a the serial cunt. pest. His mate is actually moving to Yapoon uh, in mm-hmm. two weeks. Just went, fuck this. Sick of this. Let's go. We're going to Yapoon. So anyone in Yapoon, he's moving up. No friend, no family that live there. So fucking get into him when you see him at the pub. Get in there. Um, so many other people that I met and I made a point of when I was in that main area, everyone I met, if I didn't say it to you, you're lying because I'd said it to every single person who was saying thanks to me. I said, none of it happens if you don't press play, mate. Mm, if you right. don't listen... What the fuck? None of this happens. Mate, That what was so special to me is that, like, a lot of people had to have time off, like, would have had to have time off, sacrifice a lot of money. It wasn't cheap, a lot of those seats and that, that they spent their hard-earned for, the accommodation, the flights, and they did it because, that, like, so many people by themselves too mm. who just took the plunge and just went and just experienced it and just... They wouldn't have been by themselves come Sunday afternoon. No, they no, weren't the whole time. Just gathered. Then. And that's what the special thing was is they were all together for the one thing and that's what, like, everyone needs to remember who jumped in there, win, lose or whatever. Like, every cunt had such a good time because every cunt jumped in there and had a fucking crack. And yeah. I think yeah. hopefully it shows everyone who rocked up there that... Like, we're not boxers, but we went in and had a go. So if you got something you want to do, go and fucking have a go. Fucking yeah. nice. What's the worst that can happen? You might get knocked out and dislocate your shoulder, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. That was probably the coolest part. Was just, <laughs> I've just fucking done that. I do not want to be a boxer. I do not like punching yeah. cunts, and I don't like being punched. But yeah. I still fucking did it. Mm. Well, like we said after though, now that fucking I've done that, if I did do it again, the pressure would be so low compared to that. Because if I lost against someone else who could fight, I could be like, yeah, but I fucking knocked a cunt out last that's, time. Yeah, so. that's why I've got my win now. It's Mate, like, I'm, right, I'm, it's all good, like, you know? I'm never going to say never, but I'd be pretty stoked to retire undefeated. Yeah. Yep, I think all three of us would be. I think we've, <laughs> we've earned the right to to be able to lip up a little bit. Like, you know. Yeah, we're not even lipping. Hey. We're just fucking telling what Back happened. Back to what you talking. Got, just quickly, you I, go, got yeah. a fucking, <laughs> I got a message today from a mate. Good to see you got the W. Good shit, bruss. Just need to bring that form to Gundoon Street. <laughs> <laughs> Elise, you when you uh, used that story when you were younger at that college ball and you're like, do you know who I fucking oh, am? Now, now I was going to be, say. do you actually know who I fucking nah, am? No, 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 no. We're staying humble. We're staying humble yep. on the mic. <laughs> At least, yeah. But I might have said a few little cheeky comments on the weekend. Oh, but mate, I may have got a text on Saturday night. So, like, when we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just fucking 
drive me into the ground. <laughs> no, I agree with you. It's a laugh. We said it before. You texted me on the Saturday night when we were looking for each other after party and said, who's the second round? Yeah. <laughs> What's the second round? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom rang me on Sunday morning and I just answered and said, G1's knockouts, how may I help you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fucking great, but uh, you know that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's just lipping. But fucking yeah, no, I think as we were going in, you know, we've trained together and just us, like not really. Oh, a couple of other lads come down, like Brizey and that Fez come out for a bit of a punch on that one day. I think you boys are away. Um, yeah, I but wasn't there for that. Going into it, I've got to be honest. So there was five of us that all worked together with the same train as the boys. Shout out to Street, um, Reese and fucking Nico as yeah, well yeah, for, for their yeah, efforts. Man. And that's the thing with us as well here. We didn't have really a gym that worked all together. We were sporadic with work and people working away and we just did what we could together. But we were a team. And yeah. coming in, I was like, I fucking hope we can all do it. But I was just honestly like one of us will probably – not get the job done. Yeah. And that's just reality, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to, to walk out of there and go, get fucked, we all yeah. actually won. It was just pretty cool. Well, that's why I sort of was in that same mindset as you, which was made it even shitter yeah. when it was fucking all four years at one. And I'm like, Ooh. I am not going <laughs> to be yeah. the fucking one here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And no, then it all awesome. just happened how it did, and oh, I'm just so stoked. Couldn't have gone perfect. So More perfect stoked. for the beach of flats. Oh, yeah. the, the beach flats. of flats. There's just something in the dirt and CQ. There We're is just something got that in the air. Oh, and that's what is just makes it even harder for – Obviously, Klutz and Das because they went on. Oh, remember how they said, oh, I'm sick of hearing about this fucking CQ shit. Yeah, yeah. And then we've all won. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. We all won. Yep. And you know what? I can't wait to go way. and share about 100 schooners with that big cunt at Magic Round. Magic Round. That's Fuck exactly yeah. what I texted you know? Darcy yesterday. And I was like, now we can just look forward to Magic Round. Yeah. And, and, and mate, I rang the big fella and texted Das and that today as well. How are we feeling, boys? I like, give the big fella a ring that because I didn't get to have a beer with him after obviously as yeah. everyone knows it was that fucking hectic at the after party and everything yeah. yep. just give him a ring the next day hey go on brass like just recapping and sharing the whole thing and yeah like i said i can't wait to have a hundred schooners with that the big was legend. probably one of the cooler moments was after the fight darcy and i got to stand ringside and pound a few beers watching all yeah, the boys go nice. at it that was a great fucking moment mm. yeah what a night We'll never, ever, ever forget it. And thank you to everyone for making me feel like a fucking rock star for 24 yep. hours. <laughs> Walking Honestly. to that after party, it's like I'm allowed to just soak it up because it would take me 30 seconds to do a piss and it took me 20 minutes because every second person would come up and say something. Yeah, like, it was right, unreal. It's like I'll go back to being average Joe now in my job. <laughs> yeah. But for that fucking 48 hours i felt on top of the world eh? yeah but never no. forget it never forget it love you all fucking no. even the all the negative shit before it i, st I still rate you all but fucking well that's what it's all <laughs> that's what it's all about like even the like the lads carrying on making memes and locky arm and all those fucking <laughs> that fuck wit and um <laughs> You know, Amazing everyone else, they all play cunt. their they all play their part though in, yeah. in hyping it up. And they're part yeah. of their community and they're proud of their lad, and that's what it's all about, you know. Yeah. Right. But take your licks, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Move the fuck on. Um, yeah. Right, yeah, oh yeah. shit. Like I Let's think we talk about a bit of sport. I think I the, I think the sport coming up. You know, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We I can't think. really go. Re All right, here you go. I'll recap it in 30 seconds. Dragons fucking woeful. Beat your flats five and five. Un <laughs> <laughs> Anzac Day AFL, unbelievable. It was a draw. Tom hated it. Yeah. Uh, but it deserved that. Love the that. game, though. Like, I was very invested Cracking in the game. Cracking game. Love it. Um, you don't have to sing the North Melbourne song because Adelaide Thank won. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I win, <laughs> we win. Uh, Geelong Carlton was a cracker. Mighty Cat is 7 uh, The Bronx were up 34 nil against the Tigers at one point. Reese Walsh is a freak, as the video that we put out today or yesterday said. Yep. Um, what else? There's a couple That'll of, do. New, yeah, couple of big, like the news things, though. There was something. Luke here is retired. Luke, yeah. Oh, retiring and there, at there was the end a journo. There was a journo who did something oh, that I've forgotten PK. about. Oh, Who was it? Paul. Oh, Kenty. Paul. Mm. Yeah. Paul he, might have to, yeah. he might have to come out and we show him a few things at Beach of Flats because he got <laughs> fucking up ahead of <laughs> That well, bloke is – oh, man, for the shit that went down last year. He wanted it too, didn't he? He him. wanted it. Like, oh, I, he had every uh, chance to, to just not do that. Yeah. 
He, uh, I think he might be looking for a job, so yeah, we might have to. Well, make, I reckon if there ever is another Royale, mm. he might be looking it's for a blue. I'm in. keen to mismatch him because I've always <laughs> said that I just think he's a fucker. Man, dude. honestly, if you are that sort of person who has the big opinions about players, you just can't do that. You're you just stupid be old cunt. So fucking thick skin, and yeah. but as well as he just like. Off field, how much he rips into players. That's what I'm saying. And in the last about twelve, that. yeah, last twelve months. Look at your record. About mate. Get, yeah, but that you can't bring that up because he was completely innocent of all that bullshit. Yeah, that's like, right. like he was fully acquitted of all of it. Mm. So of course he's allowed to go out and fucking have a few beers. But when you get on and say, oh, p- like doing this melee, this and players, this and they should they should know better this and the, yep. all that, and then you go and do that. I wonder yes. what happened, like, because I obviously you can't fucking write about a movie script. No, yeah, exactly. Mate, I um, because like I just seen it in transit somewhere, watched it, and I went, oh, hello, candy has been barreled. But like, watch, <laughs> watch the start of it and something like he was very angry. Oh, like, I wonder what yeah, I wonder what's been said. I wonder yeah. if it might have been which hey it would get to you a lot. Like, wonder if our mate was saying something about the thing. What's he got happened? Yeah. That was yeah. my first. And if, and if he didn't do that, the fuck and if you him. didn't do that. And you, someone was just up here about it. It fuck would be yeah. fucking hard, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, anyway, yeah. but anyway, he fucking. We don't uh, know anything that's going on. By the way. <laughs> this is just. I just saw, him, just get, I just saw him get fucking wrestled into the bottom of a tree. Oh, that tree. Ribs first, then. Or like kidney in. first. Yeah. Especially as an older bloke as well. Oh, yeah. They, the boys stiffen up. Like he's, he's fragile, fragile. Mate, he's fucking fragile. Oh, it would be sorted up. Yeah, yep. and just sitting there going, "Fuck." Well, I bet you there's one happy man. Gordy Tallis is probably about to earn a lot more money in that fucking 360 seat. Well, see, I watched it last night. Mm-hmm. I watched the first 30, mm-hmm. and it was just Braith coming on. Yeah, going. Uh, Paul Kent has been stood down from. Uh, Fox footy or Fox, NRL Fox, whatever the fuck. Fox League. Fox League. And that was it. <laughs> Moved on. Mm. And then it was just fucking, they had, um, do they always have fuckhead Dean Ritchie on? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't watch it a whole lot, but. So Ritchie was on there with Buzz. In there. It was Buzz and Ritchie going against Braith and uh, the buy round. Yeah, James right. Graham. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. On whether the kickoff should be banned. And obviously Braith and fucking James Graham were going, you two are fucking idiots. If the kickoff should be banned. Yeah, because of because all the collisions. contact. Haven't you seen that? That has been the story for yeah. long. Nah, I'm not getting into it. Yeah, that, no. that <laughs> yeah. whoever thinks the kickoff should be banned, find a hard corner and headbutt the fuck out of it. <laughs> I couldn't agree. You with shit can't. That. Okay, cop that buzz. Uh, yeah. No, that's been a massive talking point about... What? Because of the head clashes and that that have happened because Mate, of it. You fucking Shane, no, oh, Shane <laughs> Webke. Like yeah. it's in all yeah. the front rowers' origin, the build yeah. up to watch the front row of that first collision. Mate, fuck and off. This, can't this take is what was going on. Fucking game. It was Buzz and Dean Ritchie, yeah. two journos, going up against two former players, and it was just on. One oh, a fucking I tough might even not watch that. front row as well. As well. As well. As well, well, you said it again. <laughs> Jimmy Graham is yeah. the last yeah, bloke yeah, on yeah, fucking yeah. earth that would yeah. want a kickoff take. He, game. James Graham was perfect, man. He just yeah. kept saying, if you want to make the game safer, fucking find another sport. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can only make it so safe. Yeah. And, that, and that's the and that's And, the that, and Braith even goes, righto, state of origin, massive build-up for weeks. You got fucking Queensland versus New South Wales. And you tap it on the 20. Gay. <laughs> you tap it on the 20, and oh. that's how the game starts. What? It's just like. So what you can a, get a fucking head knock any other time yeah, as well. Just, you can get a head knock. I could walk through that door and accidentally smash my head. It's just because of the off the back fence thing. Oh, oh man. Yeah, but it's sure. just that, such a cool part it's... of the game. Oh, it'll yeah. never happen, surely. No, nah, no. The Landys would not let it, surely. That is the last bloke that would let that happen. Surely. Yeah. There would. Oh. I don't even want to. There's no. Yeah, I don't even want to think of the consequences. It actually boils my piss that that got spoke about. Mm. And well, there was there was someone spoke. who's a rugby league fan that is in favour of it. Mm. How do you, as a rugby league fan, how do you not love that part of the game in yeah. a big, intense fucking? Surely, 
the way that that panel works for shit like that is they let Buzz and Bulldog Richie just get on there and just go, righto, you say something stupid, yeah. really dumb and rogue, so then we have an hour to talk about something. Sure, but that, goes, is, yeah, righto, that is the thing with, like, Buzz, as much as give him shit. I don't, I don't like Kenty personally, like, and this is nothing to do with the other shit. I've just mm. never liked how he just rags on every single player just to do that. But old Buzz... <laughs> I feel like Mayo Man has his little spot there. Yeah, to, yeah. To, yeah. To, you know what I mean? That's to right. have that. And just going back to the Kenty thing, how he rags on, this is why he had to be so careful. And, and you can't he, do that. And he wasn't. No. Yeah. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> Man, I think some of the memes. Oh are just man, the hilarious. internet are is a bru- the internet is a brutal, brutal, place, yep. and he is finding out. Mm. And well, it, if you're gonna have these big opinions, that's what's gonna fucking happen. That's right. So yeah. anyway, that's why we don't have opinions. We just. Uh, <laughs> We just say just, facts. Just before I fucking throw us right <laughs> under the bus here. Nah, anyway, we'll uh, we'll move on and let's hope that this kickoff drama goes because I think on next week's episode, if it's still up and about, one T. Dahl might have a few more. Oh, <laughs> man. I, yeah, I hope yeah. that. Oh, I haven't even heard it yet. I haven't, I haven't yeah. seen it get talked about, but that. I had heard little snippets and then when I actually put it, because I just wanted to see what they said about Kenty. And then I got sort of enthralled in it a bit and watched about half an hour. I'm surprised they said anything. I thought they would have just been like, oh, well, not the first time. It was all quiet and then camera on Braith and he just goes, Paul Kent's been stood down by Fox League. Um, Oh, sorry. Paul's not with us tonight. He's been stood down from Fox League indefinitely. Righto, boys. And then got into it. Straight into it, yeah. Which is like... You can't really do anything else, but it's also like fucking have some stones and talk about it. Mm. You know, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can until you because because man, like I said, I um, it was wild, and you go, you can't do that and that, but you don't. You honestly don't know what was the whole lead. No, up no, to no of course. Of like course. imagine if Kenty, but right? mate, it's not going to matter. And this is and this is me not really liking the bloke, but. You still got to give the benefit of the doubt a bit, not knowing the full story. Imagine if he was just sitting there having a beer and a punt, and there was a cunt at him all yeah. fucking of to the point where he was ignoring him, and then he just switched, and then they started filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is more than likely what could have happened, especially yeah. with what happened earlier in the year or late last year, whenever the fucking shit went down with yep. his, him and his ex misses. Imagine if you were getting picked at for that. Oh. Like that's a very, very serious thing. Touchy yeah. subject as and well. And like for sure. he's been fully that whole thing was <clears> just <throat> a big hoax. Well, have you seen that? He's video? innocent, all that. And imagine if you're just getting picked at for that. Yeah. Oh, It'd shit. be so hard, but you still can't do that. What no. he's done. Yeah. Have you seen that video of they're at a pub and he's just sitting there at a bar and I won't say what the bloke has said on the video, but his camera in his fucking face. Calling him his names and she's like, you're a fucking blah, 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 straight really? at him. And Kenty's just had to sit there and just staring at the camera and just cop it. He hasn't blown up because it's like this place recording, like what the you'd fuck get, do, um, do You'd get Foxtel, KO, the whole works, wouldn't you? And just sit at home, which would be shit. But yeah. Or fucking build a pub <laughs> and call it the Paul bro, Kent. Bro, get a yeah, right of it. And then fucking... <laughs> Lock everyone else oh, by yourself. Bro. Right? It's just such a risky game that, like, not so much us, but the journos get into. Yeah, yeah, oh. it leaves you no. Know, it, it means that you no can't, room for error. You can't fuck up. Where if us, if one of us gets arrested because we're blind, it's like we're Reggies, mate. I'm a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a <duh>. Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fucking. We just say wrong shit all the time. What about so I've Michael? set a platform that I can just spruik shit. Did I actually wrong, mention oh well. this on the punch show last week where uh, I got the, the F1 results wrong and oh, heaps yeah. of shit. Didn't mention Danny Ricardo fucking getting run into. Just got by, sizzled by the It got sizzled. By the and, but what I've done, this is what I do. This is what we do here is I've actually now outsourced the motorsports segment. And every time there's an F1 race on... We'll get a two to three minute recap from a listener. Oh, mm. yeah, we're an probably. informant. That's what we do. Hopefully, it's short. That's what we do. Here. Oh, well, yeah, we get three. something wrong so much. Let someone else do it. Hopefully, <laughs> it's short. He goes. <laughs> yeah, I almost went back and went. Hey, come on, boys. We're lucky. We even, our best. we even cover the motorsport. Yeah. But then I went. No, no. 
I'll sort this out. I know just the bloke. That's good. Well, I don't do that. I just say shit. That's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did that last week. And there was actually a few comments about that saying, oh, he must have got his info off Jack. <laughs> yeah, pre show. I told you the fucking F1 run down. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's good. Do not it's miss. good. I'll tell you who else doesn't miss this. <laughs> 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 this cannon. <laughs> Let's uh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get straight into the fucking footy tips. There you boys. go. <clears throat> yep. Straight into the footy tips. Now, if you're not tipping, fucking a certain side here on Thursday, the second of May. The you only got question rocks is, in your head. how many points do I do it? That's by? right. I'm Rabbit O's are playing Penrith. Right now. It's at a core stadium, but you're tipping Penrith, and if you're not. I don't know what is wrong with Penrith you. by twenty four. There's two percent of hardcore Rabbitoh supporters here. Is there? So yeah. it's not a hundred to zero. No. Wow. That's still that makes it even more unreal that there was a hundred to zero mm. between Geelong yeah. and North. And people were like saying, "Boys, I tried my best. I tipped North, but it still let me have zero. Still said, oh zero yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like fuck. And now, big day. This day coming up, fellas. Friday, the 3rd of May. Yes. The 3rd of May is G1's fucking 30th birthday. Big Stop it. What a milestone, bruss. I yeah. know. I know. And it just makes it even better because there's actually an event on in town. Well, in where I live. Hmm. Uh, you throw a, fish- a rock to the cup. Three, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Three-day fishing competition, massive prizes to give away. Friday, the 3rd is... The first night, mm. and I'm going to go there as a fucking Mick winner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. probably wouldn't have gone if the result went the other way. <laughs> but G1's uh, taking a boat home. With we've you. got. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean as a winner from last. Week, I know, but yeah. you're going to be a double. <laughs> Four Pines or Brookvale Oval, as we fucking Reggie's call it. It's Brooke. Sea Eagles Raiders. I think uh, forty nil boys last week was just an absolute. And then Broncos the week before. Canberra are it's just not ideal. Manly. You yeah. got to pick Manly. It's Manly. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of pretty straightforward ones, I think. That's very straightforward. Fogarty out for them, obviously, just was that was the game changer. Hurtful, like, wasn't it? Ko Weeks and Ethan Strange proved. Uh, boys, this might be a pretty work. good joke around, to be honest. Yeah, but we don't have one. That's we established what I last thought too. weekend. There is, <laughs> there's a few getting around. Like if you're in multiple comps, if you yeah, did have yeah, a joke yeah. around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Bronx, the moral like, joker. It's pretty hard not to go Bronx at Suncorp here. Yeah, very hard against the Chalks. Even though they put sixty on last week, the Broncos still put thirty odd points on the ticks. It was yeah. thirty something nil at one. Eighty nine percent for Bronx here. I'm mm. obviously tipping. Well, yeah, at with Suncorp. It. We're looking good. Now that we had all the boys back last Haas week. back. Haas looked fucking just a wrecking ball like he is. Yeah. Reno, we just look so much sharper. Yeah. I think Ezra, is Ezra back this week too? Because Ezra and Cobbo were out. Let's check. Uh, Ezra yep. is back and Cobbo's back. Yep. We are completely full we're strength. We're almost full strength there. We oh, are. We? That is nice. Is yeah, no Bronx. So that's three... Just mm. put them straight into the bank. Yeah, we're, we're all we're all three from three. Now I know yeah. dogs have been going like decent. The Tigs, you know, they but, played a good side but last week. The this tigs. is like if you go on this app, ninety one percent on the dogs. Like I'll be on the dogs, but how? That's pretty. That's Boys, the dogs are in the eight. I know. As fucking that is pretty wild. Benny Hussain reminded me of <laughs> about fifteen times. Well, on they come Saturday off Saturday night. Well, they had a w- win and then they had a buy, so they are they're in the eighth. They are eighth. Oh, good on them. Will they stay there long? I don't know. They'll stay there for another week though, because yeah, I think I'm they'll beat the Tigs. <laughs> you reckon? I reckon yeah, I'll beat them too. So we're four from four. Uh, next, I think this is a pretty fucking straightforward. Oh, one. Everyone is five from five. <laughs> the Storm yeah. versus the Titans. Storm. Storm. Oh, Although, hold on, Grapes. This is a long. <laughs> <Yeah. theory. laughs> Back to the Goldie. After the Goldie have just won. But I'll tell you what you don't do, boys. You don't go to fucking New Zealand in the shitty wet and cold and come back the same side. Mm. So Storm will get that done. Yep. yep. And then we're going Queensland Ooh. Country Bank Stadium, Cowboys versus the Finns. Right. So we were, we're all five from five leading into the last game on Saturday. And if you're not five from five, something's gone terribly wrong or you haven't tipped who you're supposed to tip. Mm. <laughs> yes. Well, that's accurate, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And look, only lost by six points against yeah. uh, obviously the three, time, effort, but the three the three time defending premiers. So I'm going I'm gonna, cowboys. I'm gonna tip the cows up at home. Mm. Yeah, me too. I think just I still uh, think they're shit, but yeah. yeah. Just the injury like hammer and stuff not being there. Yeah. It just It's not ideal. No. Yeah, it's Flegler and Herbie, they're still all out too. Now they? is this the one This is the one that could undo the straight flush. This <laughs> this is the one that I might try and get a few fucking points back. They won on the weekend, boys. What a victory. The mm. Knights. I'm oh, going, this I'm is going tough. Worse. It's a fucking tough, isn't it? And I'm like, I'm Not peaking. Not convincingly against the Finns, I'm though. peeping ahead to the last game going, that is a hiding. <laughs> and I'm thinking, do I just go an each way special here? <laughs> A G each. A G each. Yeah, no, I'm just going that is all. The, the only all game the that faves. is not clear cut, I think, and it is a big G1. G <laughs> yeah, each see, way. this is where we need the fucking app, boys. Um, I'm going to tip the Knights. Mm. Fuck. What oh, a yeah. stupid idea. No. I think I'm going to go Warriors. Yeah, me too. You've got to. You've almost got to tip the Warriors. That's eight. Yeah, I'll tip yep. the Waz. I'll joke. tip the Waz. That's joker around. If you don't use your joker there, you've looked ahead and have one that you've penciled in because that's that's a great. That's round. the be- that's the one I've seen so far yep. that's been pretty easy to tip. Yep, yep. Righto. So that's yeah, the NRL tips. If you don't get Should eight we... from eight, you've yeah tipped the wrong teams. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> Should we go now? Have help? Can we mm. just fucking take a moment here? To just clap the big red because he got nine from nine in the AFL tipping last oh, week. Yeah. And I'm sitting second He's in second. the fucking comp. Now, wow. there was a bloke last year sitting atop the NRL <laughs> tipping at about this time in the year. I remember him. And he ended up finishing 300 and something. <laughs> so <laughs> that was because you used your joker fucking early though, wasn't it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't even have a joker here, boys. It is just pure skill. and. Okay. Uh, Honestly, I'm going to credit a lot of it to just sticking with the cats. Yeah. Because there's been a few weeks where everyone's tipped against them. Look at and it. And I've just stuck with them. 7-0. So, um, yeah, well, it's worked out. Yeah, it's worked out. What I'm do we second. got here? So there was a few that got nine. So let's – oh, there was a fucking heaps that got nine. Holy shit. Hang yeah, on. There's a few movers. There was <laughs> – oh, can we take that back? Fuck off, guys. There was 130 <laughs> people that got nine. Mate, I don't lose oh, the AFL tips Jace. all in the ring. <laughs> but Jace is second behind Big Prawn's little... Big Prawn's little Saint Prawn. I don't get it. And the Big Prawn's <laughs> littlest <laughs> prawn. I think oh, <laughs> I've had a few tubes. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, I've got something for you, Tommy. Now... Bloke from Adelaide, Leaky, Jacob Leak. He's got a little package here. He's a, I'll just say who he's addressed it to. Mm. To the Supreme Leader G1G. <laughs> 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 but I know what it is, and I'm going to give it to you to open. So you can uh, open him Copy. up, see what it is. He's from Adelaide, and he sent something for Tom, so everyone should be fucking... Clicking what's on got? what's going on oh, here. Oh, the Crows oh. match. Ah. Nice. Ah. Bit of Crows fucking merch. Prime. You fucking legend. Good on you, brother. Mate, that is a perfect week for it too because it's the showdown this so weekend as I well. think this was for just in case you had to sing the song. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? That's a bit of a different bit of merch. I haven't seen that. That, that fucking off. fits prime too. Fucking fits. That is Mick on the dome. How good is that? Nice. You legend. Got, got the old school fucking jersey with the Toyota yeah. symbol there. Good on you, brother. Fuck yeah. Big uh, leaks. So uh, that'll be for when the Crows play Hawthorne and uh, we'll have a bet. Good on yes. you, mate. Yep. Fucking ripper. Appreciate that. Absolutely. Got that yesterday. It was that funny because I thought the missus was just taking the absolute piss, and she just Ball walks in with the <laughs> walks in and goes, "The supreme leader G one G," and I just went, "What <laughs> the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> We're back in Tanham, like we don't have to bloody yeah. You know, well, this here. isn't the gold And then she just <laughs> threw me that, and I went, "Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, good on you, mate. That's uh, fucking unreal, champion bloke." Righto, 
Should we do the tips? Yeah. Yep. Right. Into it. Well, off look at what we that, kick yeah, off with. Exactly. Wow, I've the got the fucking it. showdown, Tommy. I've got to go. What number is this? What showdown number is this? I've got to go against the king. Do you want me to guess? And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just have a stat. <laughs> fucking, I don't know, fifty tenth. No way. How long have something. they been? How long's Port been? Be in fifty league? something. Yeah, surely. Anyway, this Up is the sh- showdown, Tom. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, here? they're both from Adelaide. That's right. We had the the, the derby. Yep. Fremantle versus West Coast. You got the showdown, Adelaide v Port. You've got the fucking uh, what do they call it? The Q clash, which mm. just doesn't quite go as. Does good. it always go pretty good this game? Yeah, oh, it's always a belt the oval up. is fucking. There'll be fifty packed. odd thousand. So how yeah, do they? Who's the more majority in the crowd? Well, it, it's an Adelaide home game, so, so they'll get first bite of the tickets. Right, and it's always sort of been a bit of a thing there where the Adelaide, the Crow supporters seem to. Go like back their side a bit more than the port ones. Like yeah, right. go to the games. It's weird. Yeah. So like you'd think oh, that every good. game would be a sellout. Like when it's not a showdown. Yeah, if it's a port home game against a fucking big Melbourne side. You'd expect it to be a sellout, but it doesn't always sell out. Whereas mm. if it's a Crows game against a big Melbourne side, yeah. it'll sell out. They do yeah. show up. So yeah. it'll be a sellout, and I'd say it'll be at least seventy thirty. Fucking Crows fans because yeah, they'll get on. the members will get first fucking dibs on the tickets because yep. it's their home game. Fifty four meetings too, by the way, they've had. Oh, I've said fifty eight. Anyway, close. what do I do here? I'm going Crows. I'm going to tip him too. Juju, he's got <laughs> the fucking merch, <laughs> and Let's honestly, go. they had a good win. <laughs> coming last off, week. I'm coming off a win. Let's steam I'm into sick of the one. fucking Crows, Juju though. <laughs> yeah, but now he's got a bit of gear with him. <laughs> it sucks that I tip. Yeah. Like, a bit of I was never a chance to fucking get nine because I tipped north against the <laughs> Crows last week. Sucked in, Captain. But yeah, I'll tip the fucking Crows. Yeah. Nice. We're all oh, go. And talk about a fucking other rivalry. Yeah, this is Are huge. you kidding? Carlton v Collingwood Friday night at the MCG. That does not get any bigger than that. Pedro man. and my oldest brother, Jaden, will be at that Bullshit. as well. Bullshit. Oh, oh yeah. that is unreal. Prime time Friday night too. Wow. Yep. What do you do here? You're going to have at least 90,000 people there and oh. a lot of blue baggers. Carlton, like, I don't, yeah, I know Cats won last week, but I still, I'm tipping them to get oh, over the Collie Wobbles. God. That's a hard game, man. I'm going Carlton. Fucking going to be a belter. I'll be parking up with some tins watching this. No, you won't. The Bronx will be on. Fucking KO split screen, mate. <laughs> Uh, I'll tip the Blues too. Fucking just because you just you'd rather. I'd rather Carlton. You'd win rather than Collingwood. Carlton. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck yeah. No. <laughs> and Pedro's there. He'll fucking get the boys. Oh, home. what is this rivalry round? This this Holy. next round is pretty much as even. I as think you it get. is. Well, I'm carrying on here, but I think it is ro- like something to do with rivalry. Because you got Lions versus Lions Gold Coast are as well. Goldie as well. What? Uh, the only one we haven't got is the Derby. But anyway. Um, Oh, that's a tough game. This is Jesus. three absolute pearlers to start. <laughs> what the? I'm not fucking going nine from nine this week. I Holy. think I'm just going to go GWS because they're the underdog and I feel like one has to happen. Like, yeah. I don't know. I might go with the same reason I've gone Carlton here is because I'd rather GWS win. Mm. Oh, if it was at uh, Monica or whatever, the wherever the fuck they play, oh, not Monica, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the showgrounds. They, yep. Probably tip him. I'm going to go the Swans. Yeah, right. They were fucking impressive against a terrible Hawthorne on Sunday afternoon. They were. Uh, wow. We've got a 99% V1 here. Yeah, this one's fucking... I can breathe and just pick one here. It's going to be St. Kilda. Mm. <laughs> right oh. Next. Oh, another. This is fucked, man. This isn't a rivalry, but it's a fucking great game. What is going on? Holy oh, Saturday night at the G. Not even our home game, so I can't complain here. But You'll be tipping too long, obviously. Yeah, duh. You've got to lose eventually. I'm going Melbourne. I'm going Melbourne. Fuck you. Guys. And this is fucking bullshit. How are the Eagles paying $2.50? They should be $4.50, and I might have a bite, but I'm tipping Essendon at those odds. Yeah. It is a f- – oh, get that in here. It is a long <laughs> trip. <laughs> it is. It's Off so the back long. of that fucking big draw, <laughs> they did well. They played well. They played – they always turn up Fuck for it. our man's like day, though. Tipping them. 
I'm tipping Essendon. I'm going to go Bombers as well. Oh, and then this is a long trip east. <laughs> it is I'm a going long Freya. trip. Are you? Yeah. Oh, mm. Fucking hell. What happened to Richmond on the weekend? Who did they play? I have no idea. I think D's better, mate. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah, that's right. Anzac Eve. Oh, of course. Yeah, actually. That was the most terrible first half of footy I've yep. ever watched in my life. Fucking sloppy, man. So fuck them. I'm tipping Frio. I also <laughs> said on the show that D's going to win by 40, but then continued to go on the AFL app and tip them by 20. <laughs> and they so, won by 40. And they won by 40. Nice. Um, Is this the week, boys? I'm going to go Frio. <laughs> Yeah, for there no he one. goes. <laughs> nah, nah. I need to no. put the fucking mocker the on him. Purs and ways are getting fucking flushed again. Should I, <laughs> <laughs> Should I tip the dogs hoping for a fucking horse win? Because well, tipping the horse no, is a do winner. Oh. Just back your boys, mate. Keep just I'm dropping already down fucked. that table. Just keep getting flushed. Right, <laughs> Tip the horse. Come on, boys. Fire up. Jeez, yeah, that was fucking hiding on I reckon Sunday. the little yep. rooters will get the job done. Yeah, the rooters. Yep. At the, the Gabba. Fuckers. That was fucked. What a round that, for the yeah. neutral. Mm. I'm glad I went nine from nine last week because I might go four from nine this week. Yeah, fuck me, Dad. Hey, boys, what did you think about the um, the live golf situation on the weekend obviously would have been hard to watch I'll just give you a bit I'll of a bit Saturday before didn't the fight actually yeah. a thing. so I'll explain they got the teams event right there's four people on a team I think you take the best three is that right the best three scores or do you take all four mm, I no couldn't idea. fucking didn't watch enough yeah but you got an individual winner and then you got all the teams where there's four on a team and you mm. take whatever under par you are adds up for a team score. Ripper GC is four Aussies. You got Smith, Leishman, Jones, and I remember. Anyway, I know his fucking face too. Anyway, uh, oh Herbert, Lucas Herbert. Yeah, that's so it, that's it. all Aussie team, and then they've ended up on a tie with this. I think they're all South African, um, but don't quote me on that. I know there's at least a couple of South Africans in mm-hmm. the team, so there's a playoff. Mm. And the way they do it is you take you pick two. So Smithy was captain. He picked him and Leishman and Oost Hazen picked him and whoever else. Mm. And you both play the playoff hole mm. and it's an it's a uh, not an average, it's your total score for the two years. You play your own ball, not Ambrose. If you get par, I get par, and it was a par four, it's eight. And whoever you keep playing until fucking Someone wins. Mm. And it was like a circus, mate. It was it was awesome to awesome to watch. Crowd but just there. I've Fuck never yeah. seen anything like it where because the crowd was so fucking wanted Ripper GC, the Aussies to win. The cause it's not like a normal golf event anymore where you gotta be quiet and all mm. that. There's they music were like T shots and everything. Yeah. Like on that one hole I get it, the party yeah. hole, the watering hole, yep. where it's the music's up and the crowd's up, it's all good. But during the playoff, <laughs> the fucking poor South Africans the noise was so loud when they were about deafening. to hit and, like, they're trying to balk them and shit. And I was like, oh, just let them hit. And then oh, fuck em. the balls go up, <laughs> the ball goes up, goes into the bunker and everyone's, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and they missed a putt to win it. Oh, yeah! Like, yeah. it was fun. I've Those... never seen people, like, normally it's a, oh, and then clap. Oh, yeah, you know, we get to see more golf. Mm. But it was proper, like... Cheering for them, very missing. heavy <laughs> crowd favorites. But that's Liv created that. I know because you fucking I think not it's just cool to have that different element. Yeah, the, the biggest, the best element is that and bringing golf to Australia. To Australia. Yeah. yeah, like PGA yeah. Tour is just limited to the US and the UK for yeah, what, a bit the of Open, yeah. a bit of Europe, and then you got Ryder Cup and that. But Australia used to be so big with the Australian Open, yeah. and people would come to it. So now, when they show up. Everyone looks forward to it. No matter if you're Aussie or not, and then the fucking crowd. Mate, don't get me wrong, I loved it. Boys. Being Safa there, you would have been going to that playoff hole going, fuck oh, me. Like How do we the control The poor cunts this? trying to hit, and they sort of toned it down a little bit. You could just hear a bit of murmuring, and then in his backswing, Oi! <laughs> 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 and I'm just like, you can't. <laughs> the constant noise wouldn't be too bad because. <clears throat> 
even when I just play a fucking a social round of golf or anything, and you've got like you know music on, the boys talking, for sure, it's fine. And you could imagine that with massive speakers and everyone going, oh. yeah. But when you're about to swing and there's a sudden like, Hoo! yeah, it puts I was you like, off. fuck, Man, that, that might be a bit much, doing but. It. Yeah, the whole concept, the second year it's here, it was bigger than last year, I think. Well, it, it looked seemed bigger. bigger. Yeah. And f- like I think it's all, only going to get bigger and bigger too. They all knew about the watering hole. Henrik Stenson, the Swede man, was a spider's cock off just erupting that joint like mm. there was last year with the hole in one. Yeah. Because mm. he was – honestly, it fucking – I don't know how it didn't go in. Man, there was a couple that were inches away from dropping. Yeah, that was on another hole, though. This was on the watering hole, yeah, and it was yeah. fucking – on the first day, too, and I just went, oh, man. There was Those a bit of – cleaners. Fuck, man. There was actually not on this. Someone threw a full water bottle at a caddy and just drilled him in the head. <laughs> Like, Jesus. Oh, man. And I don't even know <laughs> what happened. I don't even know <laughs> yeah, was why. Because everyone was just throwing shit at the end. It was just like for no reason. And then, oh. That would not have felt good. It was getting out of control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. I'm kind of yard. Yeah, Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I saw it last year and I was like, fuck, that'd be prime. Then I went, let me look at the date. We're punching on that weekend. Yeah, yeah. Can't, anyway. I can't say we'll be punching on I know which event I would have rather to be in it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Live Adelaide down here, Gold Coast. It's a long trip fucking yeah. south. It's a long <laughs> trip to Adelaide. <laughs> oh, anyway, that was sort of fucking dead set all I got time for. On the uh, on the weekend, so mm. yeah, we watched sport prior had a to bit Saturday. On. But... We've had a massive recap of the yeah. of the the fight, and we've done a bit done a bit of tipping. And mm. hopefully, you don't rely on us for your information <laughs> and your news. Because one thing that we, we will do never here. not fucking do, and that's shout out our sponsors, the s- fucking standard squeeze. I had them on me pants. You had them on the pants, yeah, Jace. It was unreal. I was. Like, tempted to walk out with a squeeze, but everything that was going on, I was too rushed. It was all fucking too much yeah. for me. But they've been with us since day one. The show does, This show doesn't happen without them. So, mm. Massive look, supporters. Massive eh? supporters. They're always coming out with new products. Um, jump on their website, thestandardsqueeze.com. We've got uh, a discount code. It's Reggie15. It'll give you 15% off at checkout. And, boys, I know you use it for all times of the year, but it's this camping time where mm. you're sitting around the fire. And nice you don't and cool. Wanna, yeah, it's just fucking – it just works for yep. everything, and it's yep. a great thing, the standard squeeze. They've got the bottles that we've just, like, hyped up the last few episodes as well. The hydrates, yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. There like just there. So many products. So, yeah, make sure you use the code and support the fucking legends who support us. How Start good was squeezing. uh Ash's photo of his newborn in, in the, the hydrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking. <laughs> that was gold. Cool. That's how big it is. Yep. That is how big it is. But yeah, they got all their original products on there as well, made from the food grade plastic. It's who, fucking safe. Who are we houses. thinking? Have we got a squeeze this week? Oh, oh. I haven't really had enough time to fucking think about. I haven't seen. Kenty Kenty Red Hot. Do we just throw him <laughs> under the bus without knowing well, what's happened? Well, everyone else is shitting on him. Like, do we just do, he's do we just be. drop another turd on him as well? Yeah. 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 He's allegedly, 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 and he's okay. gonna get the squeeze allegedly. Yeah, yeah an alleged squeeze. Well, congrats, nah. mate. Yeah, congrats, Kenty. That, that see, that's what we do. Mm. We take people who are just down. And we just lift them. Yeah, that's, that's right. By giving them the squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, the big knuckler who got involved with the podcast Royale, led led the, he did a bit of fucking bit of media play in the arm and the sling. He brought mm. the coffins to the fucking thing. Oh, Marty right. and Michael's faces so on him. Wore the gorilla that. suit. Mate, he's an entertaining man to be around. He's great to have at any event. He's a fucking great mate of mine as well. And CTC is supporting us. Got the best domes in the land. Make sure you go to countrycompanies.com for the ones that he's got ready and countrytruckercaps.com to design your own. Um, have we got a captain of the week, do just, you reckon? Just to pump him up a bit mm. more. I, You know how many people he would meet in a week, right? Let yeah. alone a year. Yeah. Let alone. When was the live show? Oh, for the, was it, it was a like year July ago? It July last year. So yeah. not quite a year, but almost. Mm. Met me missus there, right? Met Wendy there. On Sunday night, he was fucking blind. <laughs> and yeah. he had the sunnies on. Wendy had just got there and straight up he just tapped her on the shoulder and goes, remember, you can come down and ride the horses whenever you want. And I went, 
what the fuck was that about? And she's like, oh, I got the live show. They were talking and she mm. used to ride horses and, you know, was into all that show jumping and all that. Yep. And they must have talked. She goes, oh, I wouldn't have even thought you would have remembered that. No, he's just a people person. straight up, yeah. man, just instantly said that. I went, fucking, you're kidding. You know, yeah, like, great bloke. Just remembered, knows everything's going on. Yeah. Unreal. No, nah, he's a fucking legend, mate. And that's why it supports all of his mates massively. Yeah. And always supported me and what I do and supports us. So fucking, yeah. Fuck yeah, he's sure on he the sleeves him. of these Unreal jerseys that we're getting around. Every hat pretty much the whole weekend had on me to talk fucking about the country truck cap in a minute uh-huh. after we give a captain. But yeah, who are we thanking for captain, boys? Do we just go the whole beach? You got the whole of Gold Coast. You've beach got of Beach Flats. Of Flats. You've Alpha got Events. Alpha Events. You've got every bloke that stood in the fucking ring. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just man. think that as a whole, just that the whole weekend. Everyone who went as well. Yeah, just the event. Just the event. The podcast have. royale. Fucking yep. oath. Can I'm have happy it. to fucking the three that. days of it too. Yep. Fuck fucking yeah, oath, man. man. I was so jealous of uh, like, and now I'm so glad that I did do that and not get on the piss and just be disciplined. And but but mate, I was so happy. For what everyone else got to experience, like mixing it in with Anzac Day, kicking it off down there with that. It's such a special day, Anzac Day. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, for yeah. those guys to have that off, take the Friday off, then get the weekend. Yeah. Everything was in the one spot. You could walk to everywhere, just fucking to see them all getting into their work and having a good time, mate. It was just special. Yeah. So, so everyone absolutely. gets it. Everyone's fucking the nice. skip. Fuck yeah. Nice. Good shit. Fuck yeah. Now, just speaking about the jerseys, I just. Did we mention? Were we talking to each other before about how to wash the cunts, or did I? Did we say it? No, on the that show? was just uh, between us. But because there's been <clears> a bit <throat> of an issue. Someone the the squeeze on the back has come off. Mm. Haven't asked how it was washed, but can say we yeah. washed ours already. I'll give mine first hand three times. You go cold wash, cold wash, hang it out, hang it out, please. Yeah. You do a hot wash and you put it in the dryer. That's your own fucking it's fault. It's going to peel Anything off. Anything you buy will peel or shrink. So just avoid heat. There was no shrinkage. It was just that yeah. the, the standard squeeze logo mm. peeled a bit off. And I was like, yeah, man. The We're quality still... of these jerseys are unreal. We and need... if that shit's happening. Wait, I've got jerseys you know, like my old Penrith jersey, the old vintage one. Like they peel eventually. Like they do eventually. I but, know. But be smart how you wash them. Like I, I put mine in the dryer a few times and fucked it. Like yeah, that one as well. So the way they're made, yeah, cold wash, hang them up, boys. If you Easy. if you if you don't want it to peel, if you don't give a fuck, hook in. He but, did. Yeah. This person did say it's good now because I can put. I forgot what he said. Number ten or something. Off the yeah, back, you <laughs> know, like he didn't. But yeah, just a little, just a little thing for you guys. If um, yeah. definitely, if you want to keep it fully intact, just yeah, cold wash. Also hang had up. a few messages, um, asking when the next drop of them will be. Sorry, uh, there won't be one. There'll be. Yep. We'll have a new design next year. That's right. That, that is this exact w- one. There will not be. We told you. We said this yeah, is yeah. one of the. And that's what's so. special about them. That's right. Fuck is yeah. the country the got, on, got on and supported the fuck out of us, and they are our fucking people. And like no, we said, in ten years' time, when you're going to be paying a hundred thousand for one to hang <laughs> up in your man cave, <laughs> you're going to regret it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll throw me. Uh, I'll throw me boxing shorts in for two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, appreciate you all. Like I said, to every oh. single person that I met on Saturday, Sunday, Friday night, none of this shit happens without you. That's yeah. right. That's the fucking bottom line. I'm not being a fucking, mm. what do you call it, a big... Softy. You're not saying it because you want to make them feel like feel like you. That's what you should say. You no, I'm saying genuine, it because it's yeah. fucking true, mate. It's so true, and that's what I kept saying because they that exact thing happened where they sort of look and laugh at you, and I said I'm not fucking joking. Mm. Yeah. None of it happens. None of this whole shit happens without you pit and play and listening. So right. Which is I why thank you. you guys are like Cam and I are in that as well, and why we've gained an audience like we have because you take the fucking time. To actually be with the audience, and they know that you're we're one of them, and we don't think that we're anything fucking more than yeah. what everyone else is because we're all the Spot same on. cunt. I yeah. spoke to two blokes. I had a specific conversation, pretty much about that on Saturday night, the after party, and he went, "Mate, he's like, I've spoke to a few of you boys tonight. He's like, he's always have time. Like, he's always speaking to us. Like, you kind of expect 
you could just fucking brush us and go about. And it was exactly that. I was like, yeah, but I wouldn't be fucking standing here right now having a beer with you if it wasn't for you and mm. getting here, buying yeah. a ticket, coming to this, listening to our show. Like, I'm going to have fucking all the time in the world for anyone there. Yeah, it was great. I'll never, ever forget and that. And you fucking made me feel like a rock star <laughs> yeah. on that fucking night. So shout out to you. Fucking, fucking oath, team. Good work, Reggie's. Um, hope we fucking made you proud by having a crack. And um, Five from five, beat your flats. Beat your That's flats. It. Undefeated, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> fucking oath. Um, we'll see you Friday morning for the punch show. That was yep. a bit of a different episode. Obviously, it was always going to be mm. a massive recap. How long did it go for, Quinno? Fucking two hours? Yeah, like? correct. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Shout out to Quinn the Chin too. Oh, Quinn the Chin. Yeah. Quinn the Chin. Look at him out there. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, good shit, Reggie. Right. Cheers.